Man. This music is really good in this game, I'll tell you what. I pretty much didn't play WoW for two days, and it's always... I do this a lot, but, man, does it feel good to be back, I'll tell you what. Feels good to be back. Welcome back, guys. Hope everybody's uh, 2023 has started well. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing something a little different. Today we're going to be playing our Holy Paladin here. And uh, there's a couple reasons we're going to play this character. Uh, one, because, you know, I did feel like the week, the week was a lot harder than I expected, and the Death Knight kind of didn't give me what I was hoping to see this week, so we'll take a day off of that. Two, uh, you know, playing alts, uh, you know, occasionally interesting to me, not necessarily the thing I like the most, but uh, I did want to uh, play some alts, and especially this character. Holy Pally was originally my main. But most importantly, the reason we're playing Holy and not Protection, which is what I would normally do for alts, is because I've been seeing a lot of really bizarre things recently being said about lower keys, and especially the tanks in lower keys. And we aim to find it. Hopefully we will. I, I mean, there's a good chance we won't, but we'll see. Tirga and Marcel and Ricardo, what's up, my friends? How you guys doing today? How's everybody's 2023? We're only like one day into it, so maybe don't answer yet, but I think it's going to be solid. Hey, Colin, what's up, buddy? Welcome. I'm looking for. I think this year is actually going to be pretty solid. I was thinking about it the other day. Like, I think it's going to be pretty solid because Dragonflight's out, which is pretty good. Um. Yankees will win World Series 2023? Probably not. What else? Duke's going to win National Championship? Probably not. Anyway, I did do a couple keys on this character last week. I think it was like, I don't even, man. The days, really since Dragonflight has launched, the days have just completely blurred together. I think it was last week because it's almost a full week ago now that the vault reset anyway, so. Yankees, we can only hope, right? Well, they got some good, uh, good off-season stuff happening, but. Lower keys have been an adventure. I hope to find it. I hope to find that adventure today. Jade Serpent first boss. I want to see DPS get one shot by the first boss beam. Well, that doesn't even need to happen. And that happens in the high keys too. Hey, this is not the vault. Just curious, but why Yankees and not Phillies? I don't know. Good question. I mean, we're actually, I'm actually really close to New York too. I'm like probably about the same distance. I think I'm actually closer to New York City than I am Philly. Um... But the problem is getting to New York City is so much more driving and traffic, right? So it'd probably take less real time to get... It actually, I think I already looked at this. Yeah. In terms of raw mileage, like uh, as the crow flies, as they say, I'm actually closer to New York City. But it's it's like fucking like 40... It's almost not different. James, what's up, buddy? Welcome. How are you this new year? So far, so good. Let's get started here. Oh, look at that little, little icon for opening the vault. All right, well, we did a key last week. Oh. Hmm. But wait, what, what what gear do we even have on? I think we take the weapon. You know, I, the problem is I don't have trinket, man. But 392, I mean, that's not very good. So, yeah, let's take the weapon. Tazana Fear Striker. New Yorker here. I wouldn't drive in if I got paid to, yeah. GW is brutal all the time. Oh, the George Washington, yeah. Not like I go either place. I'm just saying in terms of actual proximity. I would just park in Newark and take the train into the city. Oh, really? That's interesting. I'm, I'm not going anywhere near either stadium, but... My dad was a Yankees fan, still is, obviously, and uh, that's how it all started. All right, so we got a six. And we got this new weapon. Oh, that's good. Wait, that's a fucking sword? I thought it was going to be an axe. <laughs> it looks like a sword, or it looks like an axe in the uh, thing. All right, but we are uh, pretty much ready to go here. So we got a six. We're starting with that. Nobody drives in New York. There's too much traffic, really. I mean, I don't blame this. To be honest, it does seem like a lot. Might be a stupid question, but what is considered a mid to high key? Yeah, I would say like a mid key is 15 and a high key is 20. That's the way I would look at it, but obviously it's subjective. For me, a low key will be anything under 15 right now, so that's probably where this character's gonna. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm also healing, which, if you watch the streams of me healing in the past, you'll know that this isn't gonna go that well. <laughs> it's not gonna go that well. But let's get her started. 
I have a lot of trouble healing and reading chat at the same time, so I usually end up making really bad mistakes. Oh, but this... See, I didn't want that on there. I forgot that that was going to be a feature. Oh, well. Alright, Ruby Light pulls it. Let's set out. But you see, the issue for this character is I played it as Prot, and I don't actually have an intellect trinket. I don't even know where I got that. I guess I got one while doing it, but... Yeah, I don't actually have an intellect trinket. Hey, it's Drummy. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Anything is a lot more intense? Well, yeah, that too, but I'm also just not, you know, I don't have the, um, in, uh, the instincts for it right now, you know? All right, let's head out. Six shouldn't be hard no matter what, I don't think, but. Yeah, we actually need herbalist too. Get some Hawk and Blame. Is that how you say that? Oh, yeah, I don't actually have that key bound here. You guys watch those uh, college football games? No enchant on your new weapon. That's correct, yeah. Fucking insane. Uh, I still can't believe that uh, Georgia game. I was so sad for Ohio State. Oh yeah, you're Ohio. Yeah, you're from Ohio State. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, TCU game was crazy. I just watched the replay when I got home. Oh yeah, see, I didn't actually watch that game. I thought it was gonna be over. Like it, it looked like a blowout. In the first half, I was like, ah, oh, they're getting blown out. But apparently, it was close. It was closer than people thought it was gonna be. I gotta turn this shit off. I hit this hat. Oh yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I could help you. Definitely, uh, you tell you guys if uh, yeah. Please do not sign up if you're from the stream though, because we're looking to find some find some funny stuff along the way. But yeah, all good. Get this key upgraded. Hopefully, we can get this to ten ASAP. Doom, what's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Welcome. Yeah, that that Ohio State game, that Ohio State and Georgia game, that was crazy. But it's funny because I was watching. I'm like, do they even play defense? And then I, uh, you know, then then I talked to my uncles and everything, and people were saying the same thing. They're like, it's like they don't even play defense. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? There's literally just like people just wide open, like fucking nobody near them. Like not even like you can't even see the defender on the screen when they show the guy catch the ball. Oh, no, no worries, Zach. This one's fine. At least it's just a six. Uh, what key are you doing? Uh, Ruby Life Pool 6. Yeah. All right, here we go. Georgia had the top defense. All yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When, when they were just like, it was like play after play for Ohio State. Nobody even was near them. And I was like, what? What's going on here? Is this the number one team or what? All oh, right, that's not the key bind anymore. Press the the old wings button, but that ain't it. Ensure the eggs are safe and eliminate any threat on these sacred grounds. Oh, where is our beautiful DK? As we talked about a couple times, now we're gonna play some alts today. Yeah. Uh, I was forced to go to the Giants Colt game yesterday. Oh, really? Why force? What do you mean by that? Why you get forced to go to a <laughs> fucking sports game? What does that mean? All right. What is my land hands just heal so little? Resto Druid looks fun. I agree, it does. Sanguine just crushing the healing charts right now. 
Uh, good afternoon. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you too, my friend. Oh, yeah, we have an interrupt now. Forgot about that. That's going to be hard to get used to. That sanguine guy is pumping? That, that's not a guy. That's, yeah. That's the FX, dude. So since uh, my landlord is a season ticket holder and wanted to give us the tickets and I didn't want to be rude and say no, I tried explaining that I hate sports. So, yeah. And then my wife was like, the people he sits with will know he didn't go. <laughs> right, yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised he even went. That's actually a good point. I didn't think about that. Well, did you have fun at least? Or no, you had zero fun. Football's boring, man. I don't like watching football either. Hey, Cameron, what's up? Happy New Year to you too, man. Sanguine is the best healer. It did fucking 82k HPS. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Left before halftime. Can't stand the fans. Oh, really? Yeah, everybody gets into it like a cult thing, right? I don't, especially the NFL. I don't really. It doesn't feel organic to me. College basketball is the number one for uh, feeling like organic, like raw excitement. Oh God. Turning into quite the low key. Let's put it that way. Football fans can be a, a bit much sometimes. Yeah, NFL too. It's just like, I don't know. Not for me. I don't really like the NFL. What makes Glimmer blue now? Might change the icon. What are your thoughts on Resto Shaman this season as a tank? Uh, I think they're underrated, yeah. Well, it's actually going fine. Thanks for coming, buddy. <laughs> We're actually getting exactly what we wanted. It's fucking DPS. Like, what is going on here, dude? How are these people doing 15k? What the fuck? Oh, man. Alright, let's see what we got here. This guy alone, I think. Yeah. Pretty complicated NPC here. Healing is definitely harder than tanking. Yep, 100%. Your UI video is fantastic, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's one of those ones that you gotta do because people ask all day about that, so. No need to think. It's gotta be, it's gotta be done. All under the tank? No wonder why they say warriors are OP. <laughs> Everything is harder than tanking, is it? Not sure I agree with that. Also just saying, gnome DK OP. Oh, you're playing gnome? Just looks so cool, does it? That's uh, not what I would think, but it's cool, man. I'm glad you like it. Can confirm Gnome DK is the best. And definitely cannot confirm that myself, yeah. I think DPS is the easiest, obviously, yeah. Don't really think there's much of a question mark there, is there? Anybody's seriously debating that in their head, think about it this way. When you have three DPS and you're one of them, is it a bigger impact or less of an impact? <laughs> no matter what, the role that has three of will always just be easier. You could have one DPS die and still kill everything in the game, whereas if you have one tank die, you can't kill anything in the game. Or one healer die, a lot of times you can't kill anything in the game. What is this guy doing? This is fucking exactly what I expected it to be, actually. Man, Holy Pally's mana situation is pretty bad, though. It's kind of... It really makes it hard to enjoy. I'm literally just sitting here doing basic DPS rotation, and I'm losing tons of mana. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah, I guess we're four men in this. I 
think that it's healers in general. I feel it on priests too, mana. Yeah, maybe. I definitely don't think Resto Shaman's like that, but maybe. Mage is just gone. He's just AFK. I feel like I don't ever run out of mana on Holy Priest, can't you? I, I, yeah, Holy Pallies are very bad, I think. Like, I don't think it's other healers are this bad. Uh, my first character was Holy Pally. It was fun and strong back in the day, but now it's much weaker. Gotcha. When was that? Seems pretty good right now, to be honest. I guess I'm playing Disc, so that might be it then. Yeah, Disc is really bad, yeah. Disc is usually the worst at it for five mans. Did one of your DPS rage quit? No. if I bubble that probably doesn't go away it just drops wherever I bubble huh the core job of a DPS is harder than the core job of a tank uh, no it's definitely not first of all is that is that serious Are you guys serious about that you actually believe that it's crazy good work champion now that you have secured the pools below I require your aid above Yeah, I mean, if you've never tried to tank, maybe I guess I could see why you would think that, but... Light pools are in grave danger. A powerful primalist is attempting to burn all the nesting areas. You must clear them to get to her. I will keep watch from above while I confront the dragon who is leading this assault. Yeah, let's see this guy. This guy's hard. One DPS disconnected. That's correct, yep. Yeah. Yeah, literally like key after key after key we play with DPS who have no idea what they're doing and we still upgrade the key constantly. Beware. Let's put it this way, if, if I put in the effort that most of the DPS, not okay, let's not say most, but a good portion of the DPS we play with put in, we would never upgrade a single key. I would be dead on every single pack. I would die every single pack if I put in the amount of the, the limited amount of effort that a lot of these players put in. DPS might have the highest skill ceiling, but also has the lowest skill. Yeah, maybe that's the way to put it. I guess I don't. It's not like it's easy to play any role, but it's certainly <laughs> nice. It's like you can literally not even have three DPS do that. I don't know what. Really sure how you can argue that. You can upgrade keys with two DPS, so I think that makes it the easiest roll. Let me know when you upgrade a key without a tank. Maybe they only have 25 add-ons showing them what to do. Yeah. Probably not. A lot of add-ons help a lot right now. Oh, it just one shot mirror. I guess I was probably low already. Uh, so blood DK question on poll. Do you open? How do you open for snap threat? Yeah, just try to drop D and D on the way in, and then yeah, just basically blood boil. And obviously, if you have slappy hands, use that. And dancing run open, use that. I don't really like. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that good at it, to be honest. It's pretty basic. Blood Boil is your hardest hitting AoE spell, so.
Well done. You have secured the first pool. Now see to the others. They probably don't have their kick bound either. Yeah, that doesn't help, right? I'm undergeared compared to the guild on the DK, so they yank threat. So the best way to solve that is always beat them to the packs. Don't let them beat you to the pack. If you get two or three globals lead, then yeah, that should be all you need. DPS and Loki's just press buttons, no mechanics. They want to pop up in numbers, that's it. Gotcha. Sanguine alone makes tanks a harder roll? Right, yeah. Pretty much every part of the d difficulty of the dungeon interfaces through the tank. It always starts on the tank. The DPS cannot even pull the pack without the tanks now. I gotta not do what I just did there. I was see people run the wrong direction there and then they fall behind and that's what we need to avoid doing, especially as a slow paladin. How does Holy Pally feel? I have played it for like ten minutes, man. I'll let you know at the end of the stream. I quite like it though, I don't think it's gonna I don't think I'll ever dislike it. Boulder Shoulder is a cool name. Yeah, that's the shaman. Beware. This guy gets pretty dangerous, I suppose. We got aura mastery. Do you divine more on DPS or healing? Divine, what does that mean? Divine Toll. Oh, I don't know. Depends on the situation, right? Beware. If you're asking me for advice, don't do not do that. <laughs> if you're asking to just observe my facts, I'm not able to do that when I'm so new to the spec, sorry. The Holy Pally changes in 10.05 look pretty good. Oh, what, what were they? I didn't even notice. Didn't even pay attention to it. What happened? Hey, Valis, would somebody welcome? I thought this was the hunter stream. The hunter stream was in. Don't die. Beware. Barely started, already a lever. That guy just like offline, yeah. Keeps kept trying to get back online and I don't know what's going on. Hey, old Gogurt, welcome. Do all pallies get combat res? Yes. Uh, trend pre Dragonflight was a ton of hunter questions. Oh, yeah, in the stream, I remember now. Uh, Brewmaster change is coming in our case since it doesn't fix the high damage taken. Nice. Well, apparently they're a healing tank from now on, so. If you're not in for that, you'll have to uh, find a new one, it seems. They're basically a blood death knight. Get hit fucking hard, but get yourself healed up fucking well. Beware. Thank you for all the help. Uh, you made Season 3 and Season 4 easy on my blood DK. Now my main in Dragonflight. Well, that's awesome, man. Glad to hear this. If you have any questions, let me know. Remember the woe counter? Dude, that was, that's like one of my favorite videos I ever made. What did I even say in the video? People have been getting woe a lot. I think they like his name. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that was a funny video. It's like literally like a whole stream where everybody just gets woe over and over again. I 
guys just pelted me with that fire, man. We're not in for that. Uh, my warlock's called Who Killed Woe? Oh, that's clever, yeah. Did that guy leave? I don't know. I mean, he's still in the group, so I guess not, right? He just TC'd and never came back. Alright. This boss is gonna suck. I should probably drink up, but... Guess not. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Maybe we, I think we can still upgrade this, yeah. Watch the offline dude get loot? Uh, yeah, probably. That probably happens a lot, huh? I don't think I've ever healed this fight. Or I guess I did it on Mythic Zero and that was it. Seems like it might be pretty difficult to heal. I saw your video where you show the fail. <laughs> yeah. We, we love it. It's always a funny time. Uh, okay. Going offline is such a whip move. Oh, this is bad. Yes, I agree. Okay, well, I'm the only battle res. We gotta get holy power for that. Uh, it's the most pathetic type of leaving, get you? I mean, I assume most people who go offline are not actually intending to leave. Unless they, like, literally are just quitting the game for the day. I don't know why you would ever do that. play Guardian Druid 2? No. Not currently. My favorite comment from 2022. I don't know if I'm ready for this. When you were tanking. Ooh, what was that? I don't remember that. Hi Metro. Do you have any tips for someone wanting to get started in Mythic Plus tanking? Uh, I'm not usually very good with like super like general stuff, but I don't. So, But if you have any like specific questions, I will happily answer them. How does it feel to heal as a melee class? I quite like that in five minutes. I, I hate it in raids. That's what ultimately stopped me from playing Holy Pally for the future when I was my main forever. Beware. But it's actually quite fun in five minutes. Watch his pathing video. The routes, yeah. Was there salt before, or did he just vanish? Yeah, he DC'd, yes. No salt. <laughs> Ten deaths, you know, it's like not even. We good. He was just DCing and just... Stop trying, I guess. Just finished a 16 ruby life pulls with 8 seconds left. Nice. You mean you upgraded it? That's awesome. That dungeon's not as hard as it looks. The timer is definitely a lot easier this week than previous weeks. Are we going to interrupt Flashfire? Okay, uh, did you make your own weak horrors? Not really, no. I just uh, copied Apenars and made ones that worked more for me specifically. That's why it's so nice to have an interrupt as a healer. Did 8 Alturk Valley on the 350 DK beat it with 0.5 seconds left? <laughs> That's always funny. You actually have like a little bit of a wiggle room there too. The game doesn't register uh, the timer is ticked over until like an extra second or something like that. So you can actually beat the key with 0 seconds left and still upgrade it. What does the vertical line in the plater bar that shows when below 20% health? Probably indicates that you can execute, I guess. I'm not sure what that's referring to, but... I am a hardest part of Ruby this week, examining through the trash gauntlet. Yeah, Sanguine is a real pain in the ass. Oh yeah, you're. I know what you mean now. It's gonna happen whenever. Yeah, I see that white line there, yeah. That, that means I can execute. That indicates that Hammer of Wrath is available on the mob.
Hey Griffin, what's up buddy? Well, we just started and it's already going as you see here, so. Good start. What's up with the four man? Yeah, I don't know, somebody DC. Already farming that content. <laughs> yeah, for real. I tried doing the four man challenge. I don't think it would be much of a challenge at six, but. I mean, prop pally, but after watching this warrior, it makes me wonder if I should switch. Why? The, hell? the mob didn't even do damage. What was that? He is just unkillable. It's a six, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I uh, just play what you like. Yeah, that's definitely my advice as well. Uh, oh, what's your item level? I have no idea. Let's see. 369, apparently. Alright. This fight, I have zero hope of me healing, so hopefully it's just going to die nice and quick. Yeah, Prop Alley seems really good, to be honest. I got one shot, and the dragon is a warrior. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's definitely a lot of magic damage. We know that. Prop Warrior is tanky for sure, but any tank is going to look like they take no damage below a 10. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't be basing class decisions on this 6, this 6, this one key. This fight is so fucking hard to heal, it's crazy. This has gotta be the hardest healing fight ever in the game. In any five man. People aren't attacking the right boss either, man. Just gonna bubble. People are all fucking out of range as well. It's like, man, crazy. We didn't even kill Skull first. <laughs> okay. Respect even on Fort Week and low keys. This fight looks nasty. Yeah, this is insanely difficult. Hopefully we won't have to heal this key again today because this is definitely got to be the hardest key to heal in the game right now. Thank you, champion. All right, well, we did upgrade it. So, yeah, DPS, really hard roll. All right, uh, Shadow Moon Barrow Ground. Very nice. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs> upgrade that key with three players. That's funny. OutK okay, Ripper, what's up, buddy? Welcome. It is super stressful with a Drakthir in their low range, right? I forgot Metro had short hair. What do you mean? Uh, Avalor, what's up, buddy? Long time to see. Wow. Man, it's been ages since I caught you during an online stream. Your hair has grown out. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. How you been? I managed to get four cent of my blood decay before my big, before my main. Gotcha. It's probably a good thing, right? Get it on your alt. That's the character that needs it the most. By the way, there's a weak aura that might help on this fight. It shows the direction for the next wins. That's nah, not going to help me, but... Uh, this fight is hard enough to heal from the three fire spirits being put out. 
and the constant dispel on the tank, it becomes really hard once anyone starts getting hit by extra mechanics, yeah. It does seem like a nightmare for healer. Yep. Alex, what's up, buddy? Happy New Year. I did Ruby Life Pulls 11. It failed to time, sadly, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was a couple weeks ago, at least. All right, let's get going. Next key. Hey, man, hoping to get some keys down uh, with you later in this week when I'm back home. Just wanted to share this one minute video I saw. It helped me a ton with the third boss of Temple. Thought I'd share it since I've heard you have some frustration with it. Did I? Not to my knowledge, but... If you're watching, Happy New Year, buddy. Alright. Okay, so we're definitely not taking anybody who's, like, way overqualified. 1K is, like, way overqualified, too, isn't it? Did you see many disc priests? Uh, I have the whole spreadsheet there if you want to see what the healer composition breakdown has been. You can take a look. To my knowledge, there's not been that many, but I can't remember, to be honest. Okay, where's this NPC? I gotta turn this fucking hat off. Right here? I have just the thing for you. I want to see uh I wanna see my gathering equipment. There Look we go. To the skies. Hopefully that's gonna do it. Um, my friend is a monk healer and has been having such a hard time this season being forced uh, to a melee only, basically. Oh really? Well, I mean that's that's what the spec is, so yeah, if he doesn't like it, you might, might want to try a different one. I saw a Reddit post where somebody left at 20 halls right before Scoville because they didn't think it would be timed. And they only wanted time keys on their IO. Yeah, shit like that is really frustrating. People like that are just stupid, though. Byron Alves, what's up, buddy? Welcome. That's why I said, dude, Raider IO is, like, doing such harm to the game. It's such a shame. Like, imagine that. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You only want timed keys on here? So what, you're going to just leave every key that's not in timed, huh? So that's really good. Why? Because they don't track that? You think you can get away with that? That's kind of sad, man. There's a few on the spreadsheet, but definitely not at the rate of stuff like Evoker for Dispriest. Yeah. I hope they don't do any raid bosses that revolve around dragon riding. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't in the, the first raid. I think the... Um, you know, I think what they did instead was that, that opening trash, you know, kind of thing, but that wasn't really it. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, this guy's never, never got a single untimed key. Wow, he must be really good. That's definitely not going to go through my mind. Start keeping a black book for people to do that? Oh, I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, we do that. I got the point of IO during Legion. I feel like people have used it too much of an excuse. Well, they're just way too focused on it and it doesn't fucking matter at all. Like it's completely pointless for any type of success. Like it does not show you anything about the dungeon. The only thing it shows is that you upgraded the key a single time. That's it. That is not in any way indicative of you being a successful player. <laughs> That's not how Mythic Plus works. The gardens of the Ruby life pools are lush and plentiful. Tend to them. And harvest our bounty, so that all creatures may feel welcome here. Uh, according to your database, there's been a shockingly low amount of shaman healers. I don't know, yeah. I don't think they're as bad as the people might think they are, but... They do seem like they are, uh, out of favor, let's put it that way. Not popular. Some guy on Twitter suggested you only get score for time keys. Yeah, that would be the opposite direction, yeah. Wrong direction. How do you get that red circle around your cursor? I have it uh, in my UI video. It's a weak core if you want it. Reminds me of the old gear score days. A mage with a high gear score was wearing all agility gem gems. <laughs> yeah. Strange world. I'd rather invite someone who goes over the time regularly. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's the more likely to succeed? Somebody who's going to leave as soon as they think quote unquote, that it's not going to be an upgrade or somebody who sticks it out and tries until the last possible second. <laughs> Obviously the latter, right? Like it's not even debatable. Uh, from what I've read, Resto is good enough for Keystone Master. I mean, every healer is good enough for Keystone Master, of course. Pretty sure you can probably get that without a healer. <laughs> hey, Neo, what's up? How's it going, man? Welcome. 
All right, let's see what this dungeon has in store for us. Shaman definitely not as strong as it was in Shadowlands. Still has some perks, though. Plus, Evokers can slot Lust as a healer. Yeah, I think Evokers just the better healer right now. I think that's a big part of it. Oh, yeah, that last key didn't have Volcanic, huh? I don't think that's really going to matter. That is the weirdest fucking transmog I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, that's that new... Bu you buy that or something, don't you? Twenty bucks, yeah, it's awful. I wouldn't even think about it. I saw you posted. Oh, I'm see what's up. I do not like it myself, but more power to ya. See if he skips it. Nope. What's holy like right now? You mean like, is it fun? I, I think it's quite fun, yeah. But I've only played it for not even two keys yet, so we'll see. Feels like they still have a dra dramatic mana issue. Which was a problem for them through season three and four of last expansion, but it was over... Oh my god, why would we go this side then if the mob's here? Low keys! Hype! Monksman issue is terrible. They misweave for any period of time. They go, oom. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, so gruddy. Thanks for sub. Gruddy, sorry. All right. Well, that was interesting. Uh, you can see their mana bar just tank. <laughs> That's like the main way they heal, too. So I'm not sure about that. Probably missing something there. I play with a few misweavers they've seen fine, honestly. I play misweaver only around 12 to 15 keys, but I never run oom. Um. Yeah, I think. Probably a misunderstanding there. Probably means soothing misbuild, though, yeah. How does Beacon of Virtue feel? Oh, I love it. It's like my favorite spell on any healer. I would never play this spec without it. <sighs> All right. First boss incoming. This fight can be hard to heal, but on this level, probably not. Devo. That did nothing, okay. Wasn't even remotely dangerous. Beware. 
Mastery plus crit plus unison plus peaceful mentoring plus resplendent mist is the key to success at Miss Reaver. Gotcha. It's a lot of different things, though. How are you going to do all those things at once? That's crazy. Psychic scream? What was that? Okay, right, probably need to keep these mobs together, buddy. <laughs> we got like fucking insanely dangerous casters and dudes just like running around in circles with the mobs. And having an interrupt as a healer though, I, I am <laughs> I am sold. That is such a more fun version of a healer. Such a more more fun version. Do you think requiring combat logging do you think requiring combat logging help with better judging? I don't understand what you mean, sorry. Yeah. Look at this, even a little, a little tip. I didn't even know you could do that. Somebody still aggro it. Didn't even know you could do that. I wish IO would show people who don't complete keys. Right, yeah, me too. <laughs> but that's not actually their problem. That's Blizzard's problem. So I was hoping that once Blizzard took it over, they were going to change that, but... How are you liking Mythic Plus so far this season? It's outstanding, yeah. Definitely my favorite start to any season. Oops, didn't mean to click that. Could requiring combat logging to be uploaded help us judge someone? I just don't understand why you're saying that because IO doesn't have anything to do with combat logging, so I'm not sure what your, your point is. You could always just look on, you know, like, you're saying like you shouldn't get score unless you're running a log. That's not going to happen. Completely never going to happen, so don't even think about that. Don't think twice about that. Well, if someone's highest key is the 17 and they got carried. No, there's definitely other ways to tell besides the logging. What they need to do is implement more uh, facets of the score. I've been talking about this for years, but... Having a single score and it only be based on your highest progression single key, that is not how the game works at all, and that's completely unrepresentative of what should be displayed. They should be looking at uh, the average success rate, not the maximum capacity. It's not a raid where once you kill the boss, you've accomplished something and nobody gives a shit if you ever kill it again. I mean, it's actually completely understandable, too, how this happened, because the website's called Raider.io. <laughs> People probably don't even fucking, they probably don't even know what Mythic Plus was when they made this shit. Performance-based I.O.? I don't think that would be a good idea, no. It's not going to really work or be possible in the way the game works today. But it should just definitely be based on uh, more than just one key. Especially considering the affix system is like a native thing, right? Like, it, do, do you think like, uh, I mean, maybe this season it's not as big of a deal, but do you think a key like on the easiest week is the same priority as a key on the hardest week? I certainly don't. It should factor in completing in time versus not in time. Well, it does, it does, it does that, yeah. Anyway, I worked hard to get decent. I'm not super cutting edge, but I'd like to think I'm decent at them now. Once week swaps, I might be able to finish Keystone Master. Nice. Went Destro in a key to see how it is, and casting 20 Reign of Pyres back to back is less amusing than I remembered. Oh, really? Is that really what you do? You just cast it over and over again? been working my Keystone Master journey as a demo lock. Gotcha. Pretty good right now, I think. What score do you need for 2k or for Keystone Master? Uh, is it 2k or is it... 
I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, I think it must be 2K, yeah. Yeah, and you only need 14s for that, so it's super easy to get now. That's what it is. I was thinking it was 1.9K, but it's not that. It's just they just lowered 14s or what give that now. Yeah, so it's super easy to get, yeah. Well, yeah, you never did need all of them anyway, simply because as long as you don't, like, upgrade every single key with only one second left or something like that, you'll just gradually get more and more score from each of them. I mean, it's always been easy, but, yeah. Just take some time. Only 19 likes sent. <laughs> you want to like, you can. You know, don't feel obligated. It's hard. I don't know if there's an exact right formula, because no matter what, it's all still up to the community to interpret. You're talking about Raider I.O.? You just need to show more of the facts. I mean, that's all there ever needed to be. Showing such a limited amount of the facts is just really bad for everybody. But unfortunately, a lot of the problem is on Blizzard's end. The fact that they don't show uh, keys entered and not uh, finished is definitely not good for anybody. I'm dusting off the old brewmaster. Sweet man. Let me know how it goes. My score right now is 12. 1261 mostly from this week. Only previous one. I just hit 70 during Tranquil Week. Yeah, shit. Yeah, you'll get there. You'll be surprised. Keys start getting harder after like 16 or something like that, but 14s and lower are pretty numerically easy right now. Yeah, we have to actually do this mechanic now. What do we do? Oh, wait. Can't wait that long, I guess. We have to stand in the puddle or something. I'm pretty content just doing Keystone Master. Gotcha. Keys are fun. I, I, I like the uh, ratings fun, but Be keys are just so much more fun. You can have such a better range of fun, too. It's not just like, we killed the boss. Hooray. That's like really the only real fun thing about rating, right? It's like you progress until the boss dies and then you celebrate. Whereas in five mans, there's so many more different ways to have fun. The fun thing about raiding is looting a BOE and selling it, is that right? Feels like the majority of raiders are just loot hoarders. Yeah, it's sad. Raiding is just, yeah, it's really sad. Beware. Doesn't feel like anybody's raiding for the right, well, not anybody, but feels like a lot of people aren't raiding for the right reasons anymore. That was what ultimately ended my time as a, ra as a guild leader. Way too many people that did not seem like they were interested in actually raiding because they wanted to have fun and play with a large group of people over a long period of time. Cutting edge old or in classic though. Gotcha. This is my first expansion raiding. I went from a DPS to tank. Sweet man. How's it going so far? I raid just out of habit. Oh yeah. I like Mythic Plus because if I have less time, I can jump on. Yes, exactly. That's another nice thing about it. Okay, nobody interrupt that, huh? That's going to make this a lot harder to heal. We cleared normal in the second week and fully cleared it in one night this week. Sweet. Raza guess that's a tough fight, honestly.
There's only two fights I think suck. Which are they? Terrible, I am. Dathia and Council, gotcha. Rise was such a fun fight. Oh my god, that fight's like probably one of the coolest fights I've ever made. This dungeon is such a joke. How is the timer fair compared to the other seven? Yeah, it is strange. I don't know. We'll see tonight. Hopefully there'll be some changes. Apparently the vault doesn't care what raid bosses you killed. You're eligible for tier from any of them. I think that's how it works with tier, yeah. It does care about that for trinkets and stuff, but not for tier, I don't think. Is it possible to get tier sets from Mythic Plus? It's only from the weekly vault right now. Eventually, you'll have the creation catalyst, though. Catalyst three weeks. Uh, maybe, yeah. That sounds right. Late January, I think. Twenty third, is that what it is? Twenty three is a Monday, so it must be the twenty fourth, gotcha. Well, that was a joke. Obviously, that key's always a joke. Triple upgraded it, though. Well, that's good. At least we're into th uh, tens now. All right, so we got gloves, too. It's a big upgrade there. Big one there. Uh, what's the catalyst thing you speak of? Uh, it's hard to explain quickly. It's basically... Uh, it's basically a... Uh, a system where you could turn one piece of gear into tier effectively. And you could you can do like one piece a week for a while. Alright, and we got a helmet too. So that's good. 372 now. It's tanking mythic plus gear, turning into tier gear. It's any gear. Any gear that's not um tier gear basically. You have the ability to make your own tier a piece a week more or less, yep. But it just seems like by the time that happens everybody will have it already. Oh, Metro, why are you pushing me towards the edge of trying a healer? How are Holy Pally for someone only playing tank? I love Holy Pally. I think it's a really fun spec for five mans in general. Mythic Plus is only one worth it since you can upgrade it with Valor. Well, hopefully not. Ideally, you'll be turning max item level loot into a tier, but... Alright, anyway. Let's see what's next. What, what, what's the key now? I don't even know. Algathar, okay. What's nice it'll, is that it'll give the token to alts as well, so you only have to do it on one character. Yeah, I heard about that. They're doing some changes to how it works, right? I don't fully understand how it works, but... We'll see. Have you spent your Valor, or are you waiting to use it strategically? I haven't spent much of it now. I spent a little bit on the neck, if you're talking about on my Death Knight. I spent a little bit of it on the neck. And that's it. Ideally, yes. I don't imagine myself capable of timing 20s. Ah, you'll be there eventually, yeah. If Blizzard is giving loot from them, then you'll be there eventually. It's They're not going to be so hard that you can't do that. I mean, they're already, already really not hard, to be honest. I have many, many wares. You don't have to time them either. That's the thing. You just have to finish them. Uh, also, all websites say 23rd, not 24th. I don't know why. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's right there. 23rd is a Monday, so it's obviously not that day. Okay, uh, sure, just invite three people. Let's go. Blizzard would gain so much goodwill if they if the Catalyst charges 
have been tracking since week one. Well, that wouldn't be very fair. That, <laughs> I'm not sure that's what we want for the game, man. Those types of requests are really bad for the game. You basically want everybody in the game to just get four pieces of tier the second the catalyst opens. That's not good. That's not what the purpose of the system is. Is it coming out too late? I do think so, yeah, but... Is it supposed to give you four pieces of tier the second it opens? No. Alright, let's go to Druid. I timed my first 16. Nice, man. Grant's what key? What are the fixes this week? Uh, Sanguine Volcanic. Sanguine Volcanic. Catalyst should have come out start of January, not the 23rd. Yeah, I think the first charge should have been, should be this week for sure. Ruby Life Pulls. Let's go on. It says week of, meaning the week containing the 23rd. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it, I guess, yeah. <clears throat> it's maybe more for alts, right? Either way, regardless of what it's for, it should just immediately give you four pieces of tear the second this happens. I think it's one charge a week. Yep, that's right. Well, it was actually one charge every like four weeks the first time it came out, and I think that's what they should have did this time. Now it's a shorter period of time, but I don't know. I think there should have been one charge like early. And then maybe four weeks after that, the next charge or something. I don't know. That doesn't even seem like it really matters. Loot, uh, tier seems to drop pretty frequently for some reason. It seems like maybe they buffed the, up ch the chance of it in Vault. Because I've seen a lot of people, myself included, get into the Vault. It would feel super bad to use a charge and then get that tier in both raid and vault next week. Okay. Sorry to hear about that. Uh, cool seeing the healer alt. Made a mystery a couple days ago. Such a fun healer. First time I liked healing the raid. Oh yeah. I've not healed raids in a long time, but it is fun. Uh, I almost got to 700 keystone score. I forget the name. Gotcha. I'll keep working. <laughs> What's this character? How do we look at that? It's characters on their way to that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two of my three tier pieces are from the vault. Yeah, it seems like it's like more common. I got a tier on my evoker, but I haven't really chosen to use my evoker for mythic plus. It's too squishy. Oh, really? I haven't really seen a lot of DPS evokers, if that's what you mean. You can't mount here. What? I have to go up further. All right, well, here's our first thundering key as a non-Blood Death Knight. I've done a ton of keys between the beta and LiveWow now, but I've never played anything but Blood. Of course, I'm talking as DPS Evoker, yeah. How wonderful. It has been quite some time since Versatility. Best to get tier pieces from Mythic Plus Vault, then you can upgrade them. Yeah, people keep saying that, but I, you guys are not doing high keys, I guess, or what? Definitely should not be looking at Vault like if your gear from your vault is upgradable you need to do higher keys 100% and you've come to the right place for that so let me know if you have any questions what is this thing on him overcharged gotta get rid of that kind of stuck at 16 what does 16 give for the weekly vault Pieces I got this week coming is 400 plus item level. 415. Okay, so that's the cap, isn't it? That's the highest you can get it to anyway, so you can't even upgrade that. By the way, don't miss the Darkmoon Fair. Yeah, I did it yesterday, yeah. Definitely didn't want to miss that. That's too, uh... <laughs> We're probably only ever going to max this profession out by the Darkmoon Fair, to be honest. You can get him to 418. Oh, really? Okay. Zero damage taken by the spare. Did 
did it yesterday. Those knowledge points need. I need it so bad, I guess. Yeah. My flamethrower trinket finally works in a dungeon. Turns out you can't dodge, block, or parry while using it. Yeah, that's pretty normal. You can only go over on vault drops. You can get 15 divided by 13 and get 421 drops. You can only go over on vault drops. What does that mean? Yeah, 415 is the max. Yeah, That's what I thought, but I didn't want to get in an argument. Beware. 2400 will let you upgrade to 415, not 418. Yeah, I think so. 415 is the highest, so if you're not getting at least 415 in your vault, you definitely want to get that climb on because it's pretty. It should be pretty easy to do that nowadays. That is too much nature. What are you doing? What is that thing? This is your fault. 421 from the vault. We're talking about upgrading with Valor. To burial ground, yep. <laughs> Sucks when you don't have utility. Windwalker is hard life. Oh, I know. Windwalker is really good right now, man. They're definitely one of the better DPS spikes in the game right now. They have lots of utility as well. What are you talking about? Some of the best utility in the game, especially for this week. Dispelled the wrong druid. This thread isn't as simple for bear. Ring a, ring a piss, <laughs> ring a piece. Yeah, very useful. AOE stun is very useful right now as well in this season. Well, that's easy on Loki. I know damage wise, but people don't add us. I can do my own 16, but people rarely invite. Yeah, you're probably just overthinking it. Windwalker's top, top, they're meta right now, bro. One of the best specs in the game right now, for sure. Best skill ever on Hunter has been Wailing Shot. Oh, yeah, Wailing Shot's a great addition. That's one of those ones that I'm really glad to see in the talents. Definitely capping right now on my Windwalker. Gets invited to everything. <laughs> yeah, it's. People just don't seem to understand that, like, you can only invite five people. <laughs> so if they don't invite you, it has nothing to do with your class, usually. It's extremely unlikely. Probably, like, seven things that are more important than just your class alone. Hey, what's up, Blaine? What's up, buddy? Uh, 21 Temple. Nah, we're done with, uh, done with this week for my DK. Thanks, so. Adam, what's up, buddy? Welcome. It's an amazing AO oh boy. I walked right into that. Amazing AOE silence. And most of the time, the mobs are just dead. For the imps, yeah. That's the way to do it for sure. Wait, what are these birds doing here? Uh, playing Prot Warrior. It's fun so far. Nice. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it's all good. We can just move on from that. Just don't ever think that like your class is the reason you're not getting invited first and foremost. It may at some point be, but it's extremely unlikely unless you're doing really high keys. There'll be a variety of different reasons in play. It was so far out of the loop because I didn't realize Paladin's got a battle res. Yeah, we, uh... yeah, that's been in the game for like three months now, so... <laughs> it's definitely a different situation than it's like not... I never thought they would get a battle res, let's put it that way. I found your DK videos the other day, sweet man. Let me know if you have any questions about any of that.
get engineering bracers and I'll get a battle res. Oh, really? Battle res wrist need a spark, I would imagine so, yeah. Or alchemy on a druid uh, gives it a spell for that crap of Brackenhide disease, too. Brackenhide? Well, yeah. Next season, I guess that'll be you, sorry. What is that? gonna shred people well there's no shortage of dungeons that have required certain dispels so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal plague fall was certainly among them no issues finding people for that well we did have some issues dragonflight dungeons don't have much RP oh yeah you playing melee wings uh, I'm not really sure honestly just picking a random assortment of talents that looked interesting to me Hey, Kai, what's up, Welcome, how's it going today? Now, Holy Pally just seems like really well equipped to deal with this expansion. They have such a good kit for healing five mans now. You're doing a great job healing. Oh, it's easy enough, but I feel like the kit is really, uh, it gives you a lot. There's so many different ways you can get out of problems. A lot of people don't give enough credit to Holy Pally. Yeah, I think they're they're definitely the rest of Druid and, and stuff. They're nice, but I think they're the, they're the best pick right now, it seems, honestly. Because they're just so defensive, bulky, uh, you know, as well. Like, they have so much potential to not have problems surviving. And they have a much better kit. Um, oh, God. They have a much better kit than rest of Druid for five mans right now. Evoker, I think it's still the best, but uh, Holy Pally is definitely better than Druid, I would say. Beware. I still can heal so much while moving, so can Holy Pally, yeah. That's always been a strong point of them since Legion. Our Holy Pally is the only plate healer, yeah. Well, besides Blood Decay. Rester Druid definitely overrated. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, they're fine. They're not bad. I'm trying to say they're the worst healer or anything, but they're definitely not the best healer. I would not say, at least especially for pugging. Not even close. Evoker, I would definitely say, is number one. Yeah, Prop Pally does a lot of healing, too. Good Darth, what's up, buddy? How's it going, ma'am? I just missed with that consecrate. Right? That's pretty good. Classic Andy over here. What's that mean? Depending on the week two, like Rustor Druid has a harder time during Grievous than Holy Priest. Oh really? I've been on Wrath Classic. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Hope hope you feel, hope you feel better soon. Avenging Crusader talent with Awakening and Empyrean Legacy talent. What's that? A suggestion? Sometimes I like to use Word of Glory to save my healers. Yeah, it's really nice as a Holy Pally. Being able to offer a good amount of healing is really uh, valuable. You joke, but I also got over COVID. Uh, 
Well, that too, then, I hope. Goes better for you. I think a lot of people got sick this holiday season, man. I went and played Wrath last and I was like, holy crap, this is bad. Yeah, Wrath is just not for me, unfortunately, but... Classic itself, like World of Warcraft Vanilla Classic, whatever you want to call it. Very, very, very good game. Getting harder to play now with all the cool new Dragonflight things that probably should just be in Classic, but... Wrath is horrible in my eyes. It's like the one of the worst expansions ever. Classic Andy is just some weird Reddit or Twitch slang. I get it. I understand now. I like Wrath because I can raid for three hours and play Dragonflight the rest of the week. Does that mean you like it? or I'm not sure that means you like it, to be honest. Sounds like the opposite. I didn't really get good at Wrath until, or WoW until late Wrath. Yeah, it's, it's a good reason to play it for sure. By the way, do you play Vengeance? Do you mean like Vengeance, like Batman Vengeance, or do you mean like the spec, Demon Hunter? Uh, no, I don't really play Vengeance the spec, if that's what you mean. The only thing that I disliked about Wrath was all the vehicle-based bosses, oh yeah. Well, that's a pretty minor thing if that's the only thing you dislike, so that's good. Hey bro, can you please let me know what that add-on for your cursor? Yeah, uh, it's a weak or I have it in my UI video, which is now up to date. Take a look. In case you guys didn't see, I did get the uh, week or, or the uh, UI video updated yesterday. So that's ready to go for all those people who are looking for different week ors and stuff. Aldor is still my favorite raid. Oh yeah, I see. I never really. Uh, that was like the one raid I missed in that time period, so it's kind of it doesn't hold that much for me. Had funnier. Had one of your funny low key moments today. I'm a holy pally. First part, first boss, Court of Stars, they didn't know about pillars. Oh, that would be, oh my god, I would love to see that. Thanks, I'm leveling up Holy Priest, and I use Healbot for it. That's cool. I used Healbot for a long time, but I definitely think about something more modern. I don't think that's, don't think that's the option anymore, but maybe. Buddy, what's this character's item level? Uh, 382 or something? I don't know, 372, yeah. And thanks for sub. Some of the patch notes were hilarious. They're unnerfing and buffing Old War. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, man. Classic has just lost its spirit, I think. It's really the big thing for me. It used to have a purpose, and that purpose is now no longer there. Can Chain Lightning can now chain up to 99 targets. How the fuck? You can't even have 99 targets ever. That's funny. Oh, I'm not even drinking anymore. Thanks for sub, Jose. Alright, we always die on Holy Pally, huh? Oh no, I'm yeah, but you can't have 99 targets on a boss either, right? The maximum any group size could be is 40. I mean, if they make Old War hard as fuck now, I don't want to know what Blizzard will come up with for ITC. Oh, yeah, we didn't actually go this way. Ah, uh, yeah, they're not going to. It's always going to be easy. Even if they tune it, it's still going to be easy, unfortunately. I assume it can change to the same target. Oh, that would be... I don't... I doubt it. That would be pretty weird. So what, as long as it, because think about it, right? As long as it could bounce once, then it would just one-shot everybody it hit, right? It would just keep bouncing back and forth. 
has bloody decay on tree boss, they have to be uh, the best. Yeah, okay. They have to be the best. I can't imagine how they're not. Thorm was the fight, I think. Gotcha. You had combat res? I didn't think we needed to take it. Didn't know we were in that kind of a rush. Tree boss is pretty easy as long as people stack up. Yeah, no, I don't know about that, but... It's not that bad. Warrior have three dispels for the disease on the tree boss. Warrior? They're definitely the best, even though I can put a 750k absorb on myself every time the ads come out, really. Not sure I agree with that, but... You don't need the spells if you can just AMS it from happening too. Oh my god, move out of the fucking way. <laughs> I see why people think low keys are hard. That's fucking crazy, man. That guy died to the exact same thing two times. The fuck, man. Alright, are we actually gonna go this way? Low keys are hard? Alright, it's like, what the fuck? You got hit by an avoidable mechanic and it killed you two times in one pull. <laughs> okay. I'd be happy if I can do a 10. You absolutely can, buddy. I've literally played this character for like five hours and it's already in 10s. I did get a bit lucky with the keys, uh, getting Shadow and Barrow Ground, but... No reason you can't do a 10. These are a fucking joke. Uh, you get tanks that don't use mitigation, people in general stand in bad. Yeah, well, luckily in the lower keys, like, one person can usually carry. I'm a new player, only been playing for three weeks. Well, all good, man, you got... Either way, it's not the game stopping you, let's put it that way. I did a 16 ruby life pool. Uh, holy pally died every single boss. <laughs> what was that? Think you have dropping Windwalker Monk and playing Blood Decay? I, I would, yeah. Not that Windwalker isn't fun, but I would think about it because, man, Blood Decay is never going to be more fun. So if you're even remotely interested in it, definitely give it a shot. Uh, tens will be the worst because it'll be some people seeing Thundering for the first time. Could be bad, yeah. Dorky had some negative things to say about Blood Decay. Are you still enjoying it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could be the only one on the planet enjoying it though, and that's not gonna change anything for me. Pugs are hard, no interrupt, dying in fire, and only understand Russian. <laughs> uh, luckily, that's not an issue here, but. Yeah, the thing, I, it's funny how many people say that, nobody interrupts. Well, you're one of the players in the group, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, there's really not that many interrupts needed in most dungeons, to be honest. You just always make sure you get the most important interrupt, and that's usually gonna be fine. Jesus playing Holy Pally confirmed, is he? Uh, I'm just glad I'm not getting caught on other people's streams for dying to avoidable mechanics. Nice. Um, Blood DK is just low on damage, is what Dorky said. Well, that's definitely true, yeah. We've known that for a while, and that is not a factor in my eyes. I don't give a shit about that at all. Could not care less about that. Okay, these missiles fucking hurt. Wow. The problem is that nobody interrupts. It's that everyone interrupts the same thing. Uh, again, either way. There's like not even a single thing in this dungeon that needs to be really interrupted, so... Don't think it's as big of a deal as people make it sound. A lot of excuse making on that topic. It seems like everybody's always saying that. 
Nobody interrupts. Well, you're one of the five people, so just make sure you're getting the interrupt and using all your stuns and stuff on everything that's important, and you're probably good enough. There's very few dungeons that need, like, constant rotational interrupts. It's really only Naka Hood, from what I can see. And it's really only one segment of the dungeon. I'm sure on a lower key it wouldn't matter if you don't interrupt everything. Those missiles, though, probably should be interrupted. Yep, exactly. And we didn't interrupt it, and it was still not an issue. I thought my damage was pretty decent on Blood DK, but then I saw Vengeance. Yeah, pretty much. They're the worst tank right now for damage. Pretty sure they're not supposed to be targeting me, though. I think those uh, missiles uh, are supposed to hit the tank, aren't they? Is Vault's interrupt heavy? I wouldn't really say so, no. There's some interrupting needed, but again, it's, it's really one mob every once in a while. I think the issue is more a lot of the mobs need 12-second interrupts to keep permanently interrupted. Well, again, you have stuns and stuff. Plenty of options out there. Most mobs are stunnable. What would you say is the most noob-friendly dungeon? Uh, all of them? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really think there's any differences in learning anything. Finally leveling my Blood DK. You rocking Blinding Sleet? Nah, not me. But I definitely think it's a good idea if you if you take it, you don't feel like you're trading anything. Beware. Well, I wouldn't think that is the case if it wasn't for the fact that I can't even get into groups. What does that mean? I can't even get into groups that are plus 5, 10 a lot of times with 1400 score. It should be pretty automatic for a 5. What should be? Cracking Tides. Well, that's not a Mythic Plus dungeon, but... Burial Ground is the easiest engine. It is, but will it be the easiest to learn? I don't know about that. Make your own groups is always an answer. Yep, that always helps too, yep. I use Blinding Sleet. It helps if I'm in a group that doesn't kick. There you go, perfect. <laughs> Great example. Alright, let's see, let's double upgrade. No, probably not. Sleet is really good in vaults, is it? What specifically in vaults? That has to be a dispel, uh, what is that word? Do I just dispel it immediately or does somebody run away with that? Sleet is really good. Can get all the stops in those piercing shard dudes? Oh, well, you can already do that as blood DK. Stops the frogs from jumping? Not a bad option. That's a decent place to use it. I mean, Vengeance has a lot of damage, but Blood Damage is only a little bit below Warrior, right? Maybe. I have not really compared them, to be fair, so. I don't know anything about it, but from what I've seen, they are definitely the lowest in terms of large group AoE damage. If Slappy Hands and uh, Tombstone are up, I can do really, really good damage, but that's about it. Now, single target, though, Blood is a lot more capable. Seems like way more balanced, like everything's very close in single target. But, uh, yeah. Overall, it seems to be the only thing that matters to people nowadays, so. I love watching a DK grip the frogs midair. It is kind of cool. Grip is such a fun spell, man. All right, well, that was easy. Let's keep it fucking joke mode. <laughs> joke mode. Uh, no loot, though. And it's Shadow Moon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Getting really unlucky, man. This is pretty crazy. Uh, if they have two stacks of the debuff, let them run out before you dispel. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Only joke mode key, one joke mode key to the next. <laughs> RNGs is not happy with you. Yeah, getting really unlucky here. I'm trying to get like hard keys so we could laugh at people, but it's not working. Hey, Charles, what's up, buddy? Welcome. How's it going? How's New Year's treating you so far? How's that 2023? How you feeling in the new year? Same as I was a day and a half ago. Really, no change. 
I'm so sorry, Metro. I didn't know it was you until I joined. Oh, it was you that you were the druid? <laughs> All good, man. Don't worry. I saw your comment, but I didn't know if that was it. You play fine. Everybody played fine. Upgraded the key. That's fine. Good enough. I can trade you the ring. Ah, uh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, all dungeons are fun, but Ruby Light Pulls is overtuned a bit. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, definitely. Definitely agree. I mean, I'm already, I've am already started a new group, so yeah. Do you use Umbilicus Eternus on DK? Yes. Wouldn't, wouldn't be caught dead without it myself. Blood Death Knight. Oh, shit. I wish they would fix the rad drag, red dragon pathing and ruby light pools. What's well? What do you mean fix? You you, you wish they would change it, probably, right? <laughs> Hi Metro, I'm a fan. I appreciate uh, you being a fan, man. I do. I uh, would like to do keys that are more natural, but if you guys want to come, I'm not going to stop you. A lot of people complain about Academy's tree boss being OP, but all they got to do is stack for ads. Uh, it is definitely OP. Yeah, it's way too dangerous. That's one of the hardest bosses ever in the game. In terms of just raw numbers being outputted. It's not as simple as it sounds. Uh, what do you swap for it? Shattering Bone? Uh, you can see my talents in any stream. Hard to tell you exactly, honestly. I don't know exactly what talents we're using. I don't notice this one. Yeah, it's definitely not just stack. <laughs> How many bosses where if you miss one to spell, then everybody dies? Not many bosses. I wouldn't say that that's the case, but. Uh, first boss on Ruby can also be insane. Yeah, the shield, but it's uh, pretty gameable right now because you can bring a hunter. I can remove it. GG, try to two chest it for you. Nah, no worries. I don't really. Not worried about that. The tree boss in Algathar is gear and DPS checked. Yeah, it's pretty much like an HP check, too. See, people get nearly one shot by all that. Can you use Wraithwalk in combat? Yep, of course. Is it useful for Ruby Life Pool second boss add burnout? Is it is it useful to move away from a mechanic? Of course, yes. I want the red dragon and Ruby Life Pools deleted. Someone always pulls it in the middle of a fight. Well, that's because you're skipping it. <laughs> Don't skip it. The trick is, uh, if you're talking about it during trash too, the trick for avoiding it during trash is pulling the ads up by this, the wall or whatever it is. That's some big bombkin damage. <laughs> How's it going, Dave? How you, how you doing? How, how's it been? If Red Dragon is on the far side of the pack, you have to wait so long. Well, you don't have to wait. You can just pull the trash up the wall, up into the little, there's like a fucking outcropping of the, the door there, or whatever that is, I don't even know. And then it will just fly right past you. Had a cool prop warrior. Pull up to the fountains. Fountains. That's the word. Okay, just get out of the middle of the area and then it won't aggro. Need to get some water before we start this key and then we'll go for another probably double upgrade, I'd imagine. When will it start getting hard? You don't show your talents in any of your videos. It's literally on the screen in every single video. All right, here we go. Uh, evening, Metro. I've managed to get 1815 score, and I'm now timing 14s on my evoker. Keep it up, man. Keep up the good work. I haven't had a problem with the fire one yet, but I swear the storm dragon has caused more wipes than any boss this expansion. Oh, really? I hope not, because it doesn't have a lot of health, to be honest. It's dangerous, but it dies really quick, even on Fortified. Learn the hard way from skipping Fire Dragon. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Don't don't try to skip it. Unless you're going to actually just like run around the other side and not fight this shit over there. Storm Dragon puts out a short AoE dot, yep. But you just dispel one and heal the other. That's the wrong person. Okay. We're just standing still with that shit. 
Uh, it's just because people pull past its landing spot, our mid trash bag, and then it lands. Yeah, exactly. So you got it. Well, I mean, to be honest, no matter where you drag the trash, like we were recommending, people need to move up, and that's probably still not going to happen, but just get out of the way is basically the tip. So we can actually skip this mob, and we definitely want to. This is a completely dead mob count-wise, and it's way too dangerous to pull on Fortify Week. I was better to just wait for the pat and then walk by it. It's better to just kill the dragons? Yeah, I agree. The timer is not tight at all in that dungeon, which is kind of strange. Uh, it hurts seeing an enhancement, not use the CDs correctly, gotcha. Well, it's only an 11, so I guess you're gonna see a lot of that. Oh no, now we're pulling this too, holy fuck. Oh boy. The elements answer to me! I wound up watching Grawl react to your old videos the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a that was a really fun moment, honestly. Probably one of the most fun things I've ever had happen to me on YouTube. Wish my ten was a Shadow Moon. Definitely would have been easier. Yeah, definitely. This dungeon is the ugliest dungeon, and no ugly pulls. Wait, this dungeon is the ugliest dungeon and the no ugly pulls and silly long fights sketch. I think it's beautiful. I want to marry it. You and Tim Burton? Who's Tim Burton? Log down my evoker, see Ruby Life pulls key in, 10 in my inventory. <laughs> Should be easy enough. I always just try to join another 10 and change it. He makes a lot of goth movies, does he? No equals the knockout offensive. I'm just not sure what we're talking about with the ugly dungeon thing or whatever that comment was but I've heard the reason why this is easy is because it wasn't tuned for mythic plus it's not yeah that's not the reason obviously I would expect old dungeons to be slightly revamped they yeah they have been yeah. there's been a lot of changes to these old dungeons Unfortunately, they still don't really work. They would need a lot more than some changes. There's a couple dangerous packs in this dungeon, especially as a tank. The problem is the timer at the end of the day. It's way too easy to upgrade this key. If the timer was tight, but it was easy, I think that would be a better experience. Nobody would probably have the same comp... Uh, same conversations how come you always seem to go trans when healing trans huh? uh, if you're asking why I'm a female human on this character it's because I like the animations yeah uh, the pack before the first boss is actually kind of hard for the tank yeah a lot of hard packs in here for the tank it's actually a lot harder to tank than some of the dungeons right now all right so last time we used or mastery there, but that's a waste of time. You need to use it on the uh, the next thing that's coming up. This. Male male human casting animations. I don't like for paladin. I like them for a prot though. You can just backpedal out of that claw ability. Claw. Sorry, I'm terrible at reading chat while healing. It's just 
facts of life, it's a lot harder to focus on something you don't know very well. You're talking about the Dark Claw and Jade Temple? No, you can't back that out of that. You need to run away from it properly, and it's a lot harder to do than it sounds. Skullomance would be cool. Skullomance is a good mythic or a good challenge mode, but that one was already like that was like the easiest dungeon ever for any challenge mode. So, don't think that would be a good one to bring back if we're concerned with this dungeon right now. The ability on the pack before the boss you just did. Oh. That, I don't know, yeah. You can actually just parry it too, so I haven't really had to try to cut it. Okay, I'm gonna need to interrupt some of these. Imagine Mythic plus trash on the last boss. Trash on the last boss. I really like Skullamance and Skyreach. Skyreach was kind of cool, but it was mostly because I liked the uh, really bizarre strategy that we were able to do in there. Hey, how's it going? What's up, to do? How's it going? Uh, tens can be wild, but two to nine is the real danger zone. <laughs> yeah, we had no issues whatsoever with any key so far. Blues don't like skips, as you can see. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, we don't like skips either as players. The less skipping, the better. Didn't you tell out of the shield on Skyreach? Tell out. I don't know. I actually have a whole video on uh, on it. It's kind of funny. Mostly because it was like these really strange people who were explaining it to me. It's on Ace Games TV, and it was like I don't understand what they're even saying. Like. I've never heard an accent like this before in my life. It was the strangest thing. It sounded like they were like, they had an accent and they were trying to use a fake accent on top of that accent. That's the only way I could describe it. Gizmo said he thought they just said Down Syndrome or something, but it was like, I don't know. They sounded so fucking weird. The strangest sounding people I've ever, I, what accent? I have no fucking idea. Like it, you'll, you'll never hear that this is not an accent. This is not a real way that people sound. This is not a, a way that people sound. It was something very strange. I like the BFA portals to skip. Does that count? Count what? Skipping the opening trash in Underrot was the worst part of that dungeon. Gotcha. Ever wonder how many Blood Decays in your keys are playing based upon your streams? Well, this is uh, definitely one of them, yeah. The Spirits do a Death Bolt that hit for 300k damage. Yep. We just grabbed four of them, so it was a huge mistake there. If you go to Britain, you'll be amazed on how English can sound. I don't think I would be. Which people are you talking about? People from a long time ago. If you remind me after the dungeon, I'll get the video up. I've showed it a few times on stream, but it's been a while. Would you like Cata Dungeons and Mythic Plus? Not even, no. Under no circumstances. Fucking wad dungeons aren't even working. I hate when people proc spirits for count and then we lack interrupts in CC. Oh, these actually give count? I didn't even realize that. British people just have fake accents? Like Sai, he's got a fucking fake ass accent, dude. It's crazy. I still remember Smokey. You remember Smokey? He, he was English, but he had like an American accent. It was really fucking weird. What's that cat dungeon with the boss you pull into the lava? I'm not sure. It's been a very long time since I've done a cat dungeon.
They don't, but people think they do, gotcha. Black Rock Caverns, that's the one. British actors always use the American accent. Do they? I don't think so. Not in Game of Thrones. Other way around in Game of Thrones. I like to see Grim Patrol and Stonecore one-shotting people. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen based on uh, how this, how these old dungeons have gone. I'm British and sad to learn that my accent is fake. Yeah, you'll have to talk to Sai about it, man. He's the keeper of the fake accents. Hey Metro, how does Holy Pally feel? It's great. I actually really do enjoy it. I found out a few years ago that Hugh Laurie was British. Yeah. It's funny, right? He's got like a pretty strong accent too. Oh wait, isn't he Australian? No, is he British or is he Australian? He is British. Started in comedy with Stephen Fry. That sounds tasty. Christian Bale is an American. Oh yeah, he's yeah, I've heard him play a lot of British roles as well. If you just found out he was British, that means you need to watch Black Adder. You are just maggots. Alright. I'll interrupt him. Somebody else had the same idea. Oh, what was that dragon movie Christian Bale was in? Not sure. Grip them up, please. Rain of Fire, oh yeah. Matthew McConaughey. Oh, I think I've seen that actually. By lightning. An amazing series, comedy. I followed a guy that lives his lives in different periods of civilization and then dies, and then you follow a descendant in another period of life. That's fun. That'd be cool if there was like a if that worked in real life, huh? <clears throat> Best Death Ever by Matthew McConaughey is in Reign of Fire, really. Maybe I haven't seen it. Okay, we'll get this spy. Okay, good, you got it. Missed that first spider interrupt, usually thinking somebody's gonna kick that. I'll say mine, but nope. It's basically Cataclysm based on London. Oh, okay, London. That's, that's a good place to be for a film, I think. I saw this idea for a film a while ago. I thought this would be kind of funny. A James Bond film, but with supernatural opponents instead of uh, regular people. That'd be interesting, right? See that being good. The elements answer to me. Isn't that kind of Hellboy? Is it Hellboy? I don't even know. I never understood the concept of James Bond. I mean, he's a spy, but everybody knows him. 
That's a good point, yeah. Surely they will post dungeon nerfs buffs tonight? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They only probably didn't last week because of the holiday. We'll see if everybody's back to work today or not, but uh, I'm not sure if there's even enough time, you know? I don't know how that works. I don't think they can just, like, change it with, like, four hours of work, you know? Everyone knows Archer, and he is the world's greatest spy, does he? Chris Archer from the... Well, where is he at now? I don't even know. He used to be on the Rays. No idea where he's now. I think he was on the Pirates or something. Also, Ethan Hunt. Archer is a good show. Yeah, he's a good pitcher. Electric arm when he was... I don't know how old he is now, but... The Rays just, they just don't like talent. They just really don't like having any actual people that the organization could, like, hang its hat on. Kind of unfortunate. I first realized that when they traded James Shields after having a fucking the year he had that year. God, Sanguine sucks, man. Archer is referring to... Archer, he is referring to his animation. Yeah, I know. I'm just making a joke. Their authority is not recognized. Uh, it's fine. Might makes right, buddy. Authority does not. As long as we can upgrade the key, I don't really care who's claiming sovereignty over it. You enjoying Holy Pally so far this patch? Well, this is like the first day I played it, but yeah, it is actually quite nice. I feel like I don't see many of them. I agree. They're pretty underrated. Underdeveloped. Under uh, whatever you would say. Not very popular. I'm leveling a Holy Pally, uh, so not sure how they feel in difficult content. Yeah, they're definitely uh, pretty good for the content's difficulty right now. A lot of it's physically uh, demanding for your health pool, and you know, Holy Pally is going to be the best to react to that kind of thing. I'm surprised any healer plays after the first two weeks. All their blessings are confusing. Oh, really? Well, I don't even. You're talking about blessing of seasons? I'm not even using that. I don't think that, I don't know. It's probably decent, but. Why is this guy just like taking like more damage than everybody else put together? Because he's fucking standing in melee range of the mob, is that what? Oh, that doesn't stop you from being pulled, fuck. The boss has to be the least fun in the game, this one. It's just kind of a, yeah, pretty much the whole dungeon's like this. Just really outdated, dumb shit in this dungeon. The boss isn't hard or fun, right? Yeah, it's pretty much how you could, you probably say that about all four bosses in here. Uh, the usual fight's okay, but... If you had to give one general advice to time halls this week, what would it be? Yeah, I don't, I'm not really good with like super general stuff. I mean, without sounding sarcastic, like do it as fast as possible, right? Like what else is there? I would need to know why you're not timing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Beware. On Tyrannical, I almost fell asleep on the worm boss. I almost fell asleep. Let me get some rest done, man. Not that long. We call this the training dummy. Oh, really? That's hurtful. I bet he's probably not happy about that. Two boss is target dummy, not doing anything. Right, yeah, this one and the previous boss are like that. They just don't have any mechanics. Skip the two big guys before bridge and pull two adds in time in the final room. Uh, those two things will shave off two minutes of your timer. Well, those mobs give a lot of count, so that's not a very good piece of advice unless you're telling them where to get the rest of the count. 
Because I pull those and you just pull them up and that seems like the right choice, honestly. From what I've seen, that does appear to be the right choice. The bears are better count, but they're not in the path of where you're going. So you can do that, but in a pug, I wouldn't recommend skipping obvious things like that. Like, how do you even skip those? You have to use an invis pot? Second boss in Jade is a training dummy, also. Gotcha. That boss is actually pretty hard, to be honest. Yeah, definitely not. Wouldn't recommend using an invis pot there. Alright, this is going to be interesting. I don't have much mana here. Holy Pally winning versus Blood DK oh, in terms of healing. <laughs> Remember the nicest things about these dungeons compared to Shadowlands? Not many skips. Yeah, that's the best part. You don't need to overcomplicate these dungeons. They're so uh, straightforward. Definitely my favorite part of the season thus far. The tank roll is very... Uh, you can actually just focus on tanking instead of having to constantly be like a shepherd through the dungeon. Uh, less skips makes tanking way more approachable. Yep, I agree. One of the nice things with that. Uh, Hav advice, don't pull too many wolves before Fenrir boss because they buff each other. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I can't answer that question because I don't know what part you're struggling with, you know? We upgraded that key this week on 19, and honestly, it was pretty straightforward. But we did have some groups that didn't upgrade it too, so I don't know. Attacking this one. Army of the dead I wish I could spend more time tanking and less time healing myself. What does that mean? That's part of tanking, right? So I'm not sure what that means. Taking a lot of fucking damage from this. Stupid fucking shit on the ground. Really wish we could move him. See, like, hard as shit to heal this fight. Ah, it's gonna be a solo save here, it looks like. Beware. Doesn't help that it keeps putting it right next to the boss, I suppose. Run through, yeah, you're good. Amos, run through. No. Ah, okay, we did it. Oh, we also got our four dungeons done, too, yeah. I found Hall's pretty chill on four weeks. Tyrannical seems like more of a problem. Tyrannical, I think, has the higher chance of it being like a disband, but I do think Hall's on four is tight. Can someone explain to me why Tears Deliverance is a good talent to pick? I have no idea. I hate using Word of Glory. I wouldn't mind if it wasn't on the global CD. 
That would be pretty overpowered if it wasn't on the global CDN. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. That was a double upgrade or what? I don't even know. No. Okay. Only a single. Very good. Thanks for I didn't perform as well as I would have liked, but it's cool to play with you, sweet man. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the help. All right. So time to go get our box thing Let's see what tier what well we can't actually get tier. Let's see what piece from the raid we, we're gonna get oh it could be a really big upgrade here really could use a trinket that'd probably be best case scenario here and we get a chest oh that's actually a really good chest 408 though so massive upgrade nice Oh, yeah, the appearance of tear as well. Is that what even is that? It's got a helmet attached to it. What the fuck? Sounds good. Let's upgrade there. Knock a hood 12. All right, we're starting to get to the upper reaches. This character is going to start to struggle pretty mightily. If that Shadow Moon Burial Ground was any indication, that was actually a lot harder to heal than the previous keys. Actually, need blood loss now. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Fly out there. When you do key 15 and you do it 15 again, do your rating increase? No, that was partially what we were complaining about before. Part of the issue right there. Apparently, I have a quest to turn in from probably weeks ago. Bracken Tide. <laughs> I hope you're having a good start into the new year. Uh, you were by far my most watched streamer in the past year. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm glad that you feel that way. Great to have fun people around as well, so I enjoyed our time together. Who are these people talking? Hey, where is this quest even? This is not even... This is a quest from, like, leveling, I see. Alright, Shaman... Uh, you might get a small increase if your timer is better the second time. All right, yeah, that's true. Oh, Narin Plains. Tensions pretty famously difficult to heal, so we'll see what occurs. Wow, it's 2 o'clock already? Man, these fucking, like, low-key streams always fly by. We did start a little bit later, though. I didn't really want to go too too hard today. But yeah, didn't run into a single... No issues whatsoever. Yep. Uh, that's why my rate just increased by 2. Make sense now. Uh, the Blood Decay healing. Oh, that's pretty normal, but yeah. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Frigid Hockenbloom, should we get this? Is this like hard to get? Probably not. Tons of mobs near that one too. Not really interested in killing mobs right now in this character. What's the one that's really important? Writhe Bark, yeah. I love the fact that you can call 11 low keys. They're pretty low, yeah, unfortunately. I mean, especially considering they don't. They, there's only the second key level that even has the affix. You know what I mean? I certainly would not think uh, an eleven is anything but a low key when it's only the second level that has the affix. Really, though, like two through ten just shouldn't even exist. If you ask me, like it's just a waste of time. So many people get like stuck, or they, you know, they, they're not. I, I'm not sure how to say it without being offensive, but there's a lot of people out there who are just wasting their time right now playing those dungeon levels. <sighs> I 
Anyway, Blood Decay is notoriously the best healer in Mythic Plus, yes. Writhe Bark and Sacks of Rage seems to be the valuable ones. Oh, Sacks of Rage too. I have a ton of herbs, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I was going to try to level professions on alts, man, but I just don't really have the money for it. Sanguine is the best healer at the moment, not Blood Decay. Sanguine is actually kind of hard because they uh, the mobs can can move out of it, you know? Like Blood Decay, the mobs can't really move out of your healing. You do pretty high keys with lower gear than most people think. You can do pretty high keys. Yep. Yeah, like 10 should just be where everybody's starting. Like I said, the first day we did a 12. You know what I mean? Without a single piece of gear gained. I think maybe I gained like one small upgrade on the, along the way. The first stream of the season, we did a 12. So, Actually, I think we did a 13, but it disbanded. If I remember correctly. But yeah, we definitely did 12s the first day. So, No reason that everybody in the game can't be doing at least a 10. It's just not tuned to be hard. It's That's not the goal of it, you know what I mean? So it's really just a waste. Of, like People just get stuck in the first nine levels and then they just think the hard, like, the keys are only going to get harder. But in reality, it's just something else happening at that point. Alright, anyway, let's see how this goes. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. Why do you have double party frames? Uh, because the ones on the right are typically blocked by the camera, but not on this character. We're gonna go to this boss first. I will suspect the worst. Got five fifteens in this week, but then I got a Ruby Life Bulls. Oh wow, six times downloaded, down, downloaded, downgraded. I think playing below tens for a long time can reinforce bad habits. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. They're really just confusing people. I think those lower keys. Not good for anybody. We must retake our weapons of war and drive the Nokut back. Two or three of my guild won't attempt tens until the raid groups decide to go heroic anyway. People always asking what item level they need to do keys. Eh, yeah, that's... See, that's a big part of it right there. Like, when you think like, oh, uh, two through nine. Like, there's so many levels, right? Like, that's a bunch of numbers. <laughs> so people think like, oh, I'll start my way up. Or work my way up kind of thing. You know, it's like, no, no, no. Those just shouldn't exist. I don't know what the purpose of those are. Especially considering they don't even have the seasonal effects, which is supposed to be like such a big part of the season. It's kind of strange. Oh wow, that's what that rallying cry sounds like. I don't think I've ever heard it get off. I think Ruby Life Bolts is especially bad. Yeah, Sanguine really blows in there. It's just a whip. Not how you want to open this dungeon at all, I would say. Especially not come this here and come to this place first, but. Uh, do you use Asphyxiate in-game or IRL? Why you wait the timer before using the key? It's just a courtesy, yeah? Sometimes people try to do things before well the key starts. Done. Keep retaking the weapons. Two more remain. Scaling really starts to kick in above 12. I would agree. 12 is where it starts to feel like you're doing Mythic Plus for sure. Eighteen ruby life pulls on my holy priest was giga scuffed. Not gonna lie, that's good. Don't lie. No reason to lie about something like that. Look how much damage I'm taking from the fucking sack. I'm just gonna die to the sack. Uh, shame, I really wish Blue did a better job of having balanced the dungeons. Oh, they will, yeah. That's going to continue to happen over the time. We got a long time before the season's over. I wouldn't really say there's much. I think it's really overblown, too, this whole topic about things being imbalanced. It's just Shadow Moon Barrier Ground. If that dungeon didn't exist, it would be a completely different conversation. The hardest key is definitely very hard, and the easiest key besides Shadow Moon Barrow Ground is still much easier than it, but it's really not abnormal at all at that point. It's simply Shadow Moon Barrow Ground. That's the only real outlier here. 
There have been far harder keys in seasons before that nobody really seemed to care about. Bit delayed, but thanks for the Shadow Moon key. Oh, you were in there? I didn't realize. Good work. The other day I ran some two to sixes with some guilds after some zeros, and the healer was too scared to do a two. We ended up plus twoing a six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That kind of stuff is just not good for anybody's mental landscape, you know? You think like, all right, I'll just start with a two, and then I'll work up to a three, and then we can try a four. It's like, dude, <laughs> please do not waste your time with this shit. It's just like a noob trap, you know what I mean? Like, it just convinces people into thinking that they're bad at the game, basically. Forest Stars isn't that hard either. I think it's a lot harder than Shadow Moon. People think it's very easy, but I don't think it's anywhere near as easy as Shadow Moon. I've had a lot of problems with Quarter Stars, and the timer is way tighter than Shadow Moon. Quarter Stars is that was that easy in Legion, though. It's something that people need to realize. So that one's as expected, at least. You are the evoker, sweet man. Good work. Quarter stars can mess up very quickly. Yep, I agree. That's the difference with Shadow Moon. It's hard to fail that key. Like, there's really nothing there that will allow you to fail it easily. I'm in that noob trap. I did eight, eight twos for the first time this week. Right, there you go. And then you did a 12 and you saw how much easier... It, like, it's actually just go right there, you know what I mean? There's no reason... If the keystone system didn't start you at two, there would be actually no reason to do those key levels. Have you tried regular beacon? No, I won't, wouldn't even consider it. Beacon of Virtue is like the number one thing I like about the spec. It'd be like saying like, have you tried not using Umbilicus? It's like, no thank you. Hey Mark, what's up buddy? I started with plus two for confidence. Yeah, but the thing is you're not gonna learn confidence on that level. Billy is so good. I love it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's like definitely my favorite interaction that any class has ever had. Try DK with no bone shields. Yeah, it's a little bit different than no beacon of virtue, but. Do you prefer smoked bacon or unsmoked? Neither, yeah. Alright, okay, so we'll do this ourselves here. We'll see how this goes as a melee. Apparently you can literally just kick it right now. Let's try that. No, we didn't even get there fast enough, so. We won't find out. You have to be pretty much waiting at it for that to even be possible. Uh, the only time I would run low keys, at two to 10, is if I had to gear up my alt. Yeah, you can just do your own key there and then it works, but you just go through those keys so quickly, like I don't even know. Two people click the bolt door, it goes out twice. Really? What the fuck? Why aren't people doing that? That's bizarre. Why don't you have all five people do it? Is there any reason you can't do that? I'm not sure if it's fixed, but apparently you can let the crossbow shoot twice. Well, that sounds like that is definitely going to be the way to do it, if that's the case. I think trying stuff as a 10 is best. Right, well, you gotta do it in something high enough that the, the consequences are there, you know? If you do it in a 2 and you fail, you're not gonna learn about the consequences of failing. Uh, all 5 do it and almost one-shot the boss? That would be nuts. That's what I'm saying. Why aren't, why aren't they doing it? Have you tried Dick's Priest in high keys? No. I don't play healer, really. The 
storm must be quieted and the elemental within it defeated before Clan Omir can join the Kanamatra. Their primalist allies have placed totems that protect this raging tempest. Find them and destroy them. See how bad this uh, spell is, and we're not kicking it, and it's still not killing anybody on this level. The elements answer to me. Truly a blasphemous idol. Continue your work. I've been trying to do 17s and up on disc, but my push group wants me to stay holy, yeah. Yeah, disc isn't great right now, it seems. Can anyone, no. Can anyone tell me what the bar on the top means? Uh, the stream boss, that's the stream boss. Visual representation of all the different ways you can support the stream. This feels insanely bad, does it? Uh, doom. Are you supposed to pop those orbs? Yeah, they give you a buff. People don't seem to know that for some reason. I've been blasting and raid with this though. Some dungeons are just really tough. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. This has always been a good raid healer. 5% damage. Yeah, it's really good. 5% each. And then on the boss, it's 10% each, but... Everybody seems to even know they exist. You see people just standing right next to them and never get them. The primalist power weakens. I often just take them as a Resto Druid. Yeah, that's actually probably the best person to take them. The healer, because there's a lot of damage on these packs. One more totem, quickly. Nice boot, yeah. Nobody even tries to stop any of this shit. Twelves already? Yeah. Uh what item level? Uh, I'm not even sure to be honest. We'll take a look here in a second. Three seventy four, yeah. What's weird is the DPS players usually do everything to get a tiny bit more DPS, but then they ignore the orbs. That's right, that's that's how funny that is, right? Like what? Really strange situation. What is your IO on your main? I think it shows it. Yeah, 2569 apparently. I think that's right. Hope everyone is having a good and loot filled day. Not loot filled, but good, definitely. And a good new year as well.
Loopy drop against slots I don't need. Must mean I'm gonna get a hard vault choice, so really. Yeah, vault's gonna be a big one this week. First 20's done this week, so we'll have a two, three, wait, was it four? I don't even know. Whatever, 21, 421? 321. Yeah, it's 421, yeah. Three 421 options. Actually, not three, two. Two, two, two. All right, let's see what this boss looks like. It's supposed to be hard, right? Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Uh, Blood, uh, Blood Death Knight. Blood Death Knight. Thanks a lot. Well, okay, three years. Yeah, coming up. 31 months. Very generous, man. I'm always uh, appreciative of the long-time support, man. No, 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 no. The elements answer to me. It just lasts so fucking long, is the thing. Sadly, I couldn't do a 20 this week. Highest so far was an 18. Oh, really? Well, you still have some time, I suppose, but running out, quickly running out. Yeah. Gathering 10 stacks is most important. Yep, I agree. Doing it again? When's he doing it? Not for a while. Yeah, that was easy. Holy Pally's just really good at it, too, I feel like. Later? Uh, yeah, it took a while there, you're right. All right, so off to off we go. Clan Ukel has allied with Clan Nokud. Today, they will regret that alliance. They have desecrated the graves of our first ancestors. Tira. Okay, let's go. What is this? What the fuck? Oh, the mobs were aggroed the whole time or something? No comment, just want to say thanks for the entertainment. Well, I appreciate that, man. That is a comment, though, just so you're aware. That counts. guys are that dangerous we're pulling them alone huh? strange don't see that very often or you wouldn't if I ever did this as not me as a tank I'm not sure what the Rotting Wind debuff does. Does anybody know? It's a dispel, though, so I will do that. Can't be a good thing. Rotting Wind, that's a terrible name. Like, sounds horrible, doesn't it? Go no Metro, hope you're streaming tomorrow. Oh, we definitely will be tomorrow, yep. Tuesday is always going to be a stream day. Something really weird would have to happen. 
It's a 20% healing debuff. Is it really? Oh, wow. Lots of different mortal strikes in these packs. I remember this. How's your experience so far with the lower keys? Yeah, it's not even... <laughs> I've yet to see anything even remotely like difficult or interesting about them. Beware. Not even close. We have to have any issues. Is the thundering effects even worth worrying about? Yeah, you definitely want to uh, don't just clear it the second it comes out, if that's your question. You say, every run I do, it seems like all it does is give a free DPS boost. That's exactly what it does. So, yeah, that's... You got that much figured out, but... Sorry for the dumb questions. Grizzled old dog. What's up, buddy? Uh, but just got back into Mythics this week. It looks like not... Oh, is we not following that? Uh, it looks like not one... It looks like no one is doing anything specific for the positive or negative charge. It looks like not one. I'm not sure what the question is, sorry. Rephrase and come back to me. No one. And what, what, are you, what is your question that I understand? Are you supposed to run to someone with the opposite charge? That's right, yep. If you don't, you'll get stunned. If after 15 seconds you haven't done that, you will be stunned. I will stomp on your grave. The elements answer to me! Usually clear with around five seconds left. The weak aura pretty much tells you when you should clear and I would follow it. I think it's five seconds. Yeah, it's five seconds left, yeah. It gives you enough time to try to figure out where the person is. If you wait too long, then you might not exactly know where you're going. I just must be missing it. Well, yeah, if they're not getting stunned, then they're doing it 100%. That's why I would recommend getting the Thundering Weak Horror. It'll make it a lot easier to see exactly what's happening. problem man if you have any questions let me know three seconds roughly but there's five people so if the other two clear you're good yep only 79 percent not even 77 percent so many people clear it instantly and waste a lot of the damage well that could be the other thing too they could be stacked up when it comes out or something even you know I love how they just shoot that guy. He just, just gets kills. It's funny. Poor guy. See that situation there? That I should have made a video on that. I don't know why I never did. That guy just got hit with a five stack brutalize, and if he's gonna do that every time, it's gonna really add up, especially on tyrannical weeks. If you run preemptively, you won't. It will be zero stacks for brutalize. Only time to clear it instantly if you have your mechanic that makes you split up. Yeah, that's not really common, but maybe. Basically, just like clear it whenever it's comfortable and if it's not comfortable in you know 10 seconds after it comes out then just clear it whenever you want doesn't really matter that much although it is a lot of damage that you're trading if you're clearing it the second it comes out every single time it comes out the reality of that happening that was extremely unlikely Bubble those off too, yeah. Pretty cool. The elements answer to me.
Does the buff actually make the other mechanics do more damage too? It probably does, doesn't it? I never even thought about that. So if you're not tanking this well, like the, the group can just not survive it. Like they'll just get destroyed, maybe. Right, there's not really a lot of unavoidable damage, though. I don't think. So now what are we doing? We're gonna have to go in the front or something. This is probably like the first real bad decision I've seen anybody make as a tank. We're still gonna go in the back way. Okay. What pack are we gonna get? I don't even know what these packs are back here. Okay, let's just go. We don't need to wait for him. I quite actually like doing the trash at the front gate. It gives a lot of count. It's really inefficient from what I can tell. But I think at the end of the day, you're probably right. It's probably less of a bad idea than I think everybody initially expected it to be. But some of the trash that you have to pull along the way just isn't great either. The dungeons just kind of fill with shitty trash. You can't really like pull big or sleep on, you know, you gotta pay attention on every pack. Is that one mon that does magic dots in these packs? Pretty brutal, yeah. These trash, these mobs are definitely not good. Okay, so we'll just get the other 20% count we need later on, I guess that's fine. Most groups I do, people kill the trash at the burial grounds to where the only ads left. Yeah, that's not a bad place to get it. That's really the place to get it, I suppose. I wonder if the back door path will get some trash put in there at some point. Nah, I don't think so. The elements answer to me. Trash in the burrow grounds give like 2% per pack. Right, but it's really, uh, there's not a lot of trash in the other areas is the problem. So you don't really have too many choices, unfortunately. Hey, he gripped them, nice. This phase does a lot of damage, apparently. Oh my god, we don't even have Bloodless up. That was a terrible route. That's the worst route I've seen this so far today. Holy fuck. Anyway, that's what I mean. Trash in the final area outside the gate is far more efficient. And I disagree, you know what I'm saying? I disagree, but... I don't think it's as inefficient as I originally expected it to be, but it is definitely not good. 
Lots of casters that if you don't uh, deal with properly, you'll have a lot of trouble. I do not have Divine Toll. I do. I do have it, yes. I love on my Misweaver to see if it's as bad as Subcreation suggests. I don't think that's what they're suggesting, but... Why, are they below Shaman now or something? What are we mounting up for? Some of that stuff doesn't give count, I think. No, I think it all gives count, yeah. If they're in F tier. Again, Subcreation does not have opinions, it just rates them based on their current success modules, but... I don't really understand the tier part of it, like why some things are in different tiers than others. See how dangerous this trash is? Oh, Jesus. Too dark in here, probably. Uh, it's not that bad if you can play Miss Weaver well. I played Night Fate Miss Weaver most of Shadowlands, so it's basically the same thing. Okay. Alright, so what are we doing now? They're just fucking soloing the pack, I guess. At the end, it doesn't matter how much how, how much how good a class is. It's how well you play it. Yeah, well, that's definitely a big part of it. I mean, it does matter a little bit, but not nearly as much as people seem to think. Um, tiers are the high... Are, tiers are the amount of high keys completed. So tier list is based on 20 keys. Mm, that's not what I said. Yeah, you must have misheard or something. Uh, well, I'm really... Uh, well, in really high keys it starts to matter, but on 20s... Until 20s or so, it's not, ha not an issue, I guess. Okay, this trash like fucking absolutely blows, man. This is the worst trash in the dungeon. Beware. Is it really bad to heal blood decays? No, it's the best healer in the game. Or it's the best tank to heal in the game. They don't need healing. Just give them your, your defensive every once in a while, and that's that. Ruby is such a deadly dungeon. Last boss makes or breaks a run. And I find the third boss, or the second boss, is the one that seems to be the hardest right now. It's so strange that he would come and do this skip, but not have any plan on how to get count. That's the low-key thing right there. It's, you want to see a low-key mistake? That's one of them right there. And we might actually not upgrade this key, I feel like. What, what, what's next? <laughs> oh, there's mobs over here. Okay, I forgot about these. Where are we going now? There's no mobs up there. Oh my god. Oh, actually, there's a few. You're supposed to get 94%. That's correct, yep. Beware. This pack sucks. The patrols outside the gate are easy, yeah. They're definitely easier than these, that's for sure. No, it is what subcreation is, is its statistics for level keys completed for each spec that are compiled into a tier list. Beware. I'm saying like what is the difference between the tiers in the in the website? That's my, my my question. I learned last week that bosses don't count for percentage. That's not necessarily when you'd want to learn that, but I guess you gotta learn it eventually. 
I'm not a big fan of taking lots of mobs in the final area, to be honest. No, you definitely. <laughs> Don't think many people are, yeah. Oh, we got a neck, okay. 392, haste mastery. Sounds good. Oh, right, we upgrade the key easily. Now we got 13 halls. It's gonna start getting a lot harder now. <sighs> that was definitely the worst, like, noob in terms of like bad play that was the worst thing we've seen so far and that really wasn't even that big of a deal if it was a higher key that would have been a massive deal but oh yeah the uh i want to see the basketball what's your trinkets I have, I have really good trinkets i have this one here 372 trinket that i don't even know what it does or ever use and then i have this one here this is a really good one for healing granite's enduring scale taking damage is a low chance to not do anything for healing um, tier lists are the amount of keys completed for each spec. So say Resto Druid has most, it's S tier. Okay, dude. Thanks for the thanks for attempting to have a conversation on this, but you're not seeming to understand what I'm saying. So no worries, we can move on. Uh, make a mouse over macro for the singing trinket. It gives a shield that bounces to four players. Yeah, I'm all set. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, list this. Then I want to read the uh, basketball thing. Let's see what they got. Okay. Sorry, you're trying to help? That's not helping, yeah. So we can stop. Rankings. Duke only up one spot, really. Yeah, they're going to struggle now, aren't they, the rest of the season? Tennessee lose or why they moved down a spot. Pretty much no changes this week. Who lost? Baylor, yeah, they they would have dropped a lot. Iowa State back in top twenty five. North Carolina, obviously out. LSU, yeah, they should probably get some points. Missouri, who'd they beat? Oh, they beat Kentucky and Illinois. Whoa, what the fuck? That's a good team then. Don't tell Diabolical. Um, he means, what is the measurable difference between tiers, I guess? So how many completed keys? Right, well, my point is this. Let's take a look at it. Since this is another one of these conversations that just don't stop when I ask them to stop. You see this? What What the fuck is this? Why is there a gap? What mean? What makes there a gap? Why is there a gap, you know? And so the reason that I don't like this website is because of this right here. There should not be a gap. Just list them one through seven or whatever it is. That's it. We don't need we don't need all this nonsense. It doesn't even make sense. And all it's doing is confusing people because they see, oh, look at how much worse Mistweaver is. It's like, based on what? What the fuck? <laughs> like, are they are they worse? Like, I don't understand. Like, what the fuck is the difference? I, it doesn't make any sense. And it's not. I don't think it's like. I don't think it's like relevant. I really don't. I don't think it helps anybody figure out you know, any actual information. So I'd prefer not to see that, but other than that, uh, obviously the website does a great job. I completely understand what you mean now and agree. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, Bradley, what's up, buddy? Happy New Year's to you too, my friend. What's up, buddy, 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 buddy? I gotta watch Alpha Dog again. It's been a while. Ranking them in order. Yeah, just just do one through seven, man. Like that's fine. We don't need this like this fucking tier thing. It's just I'm just It's such like a stupid I don't know how it's even caught on. Where people are like, This tank is S tier. It's like that's not a letter. Like what are you talking about? What is S? You know what I mean? Just fucking rank them one through whatever and that's it. That's all anybody wants to know anyway. Finally glad someone says it. <laughs> I suppose it means if Miss Weaver completed even a lot more keys than it does, then it still wouldn't be comparable to the rest, and that's just not the case, right? So, 
Uh, every time I see cheerless, I roll my eyes. Well, obviously the ones from like actual people, not actual based on facts, are completely irredeemable now, but at least Subcreation is trying its best to make it an objective conversation. Used to be a meme to make tier lists, now people actually try to follow them. Yeah. When I started doing them in Legion, it was like, I thought it was actually a helpful thing for the community, and now it couldn't be further from that. Feels like the complete opposite. It's like actually probably doing more harm than any like good it ever did at any point. Well, anyway, let's see how this key goes. It's going to be a lot harder now. Hey, size with the bunny. Didn't think you were live until tomorrow. I know. We talked about the schedule a lot these last few days. Today was always going to be the alt day, and honestly, it didn't really live up to its expectations. Reminds me of people who do reviews, so they rate something 9.6 out of 10 uh, instead of just rating something 96 out of 100. Uh, okay. Does anybody care about that? <laughs> I thought you were going to say like 9.6 out of 10, but they hated it. Because that's like, that's a really common thing. You see that a lot in like gaming reviews. It's like, <laughs> they give it like an 8 out of 10 and they, they said nothing good about it. It's like, what? <laughs> the fuck? I've always imagined it works like grades uh, going in layers of 10. So C, there would be like 40 to 50% completion. And I just don't think that's the case though, because again, if you look at it, let's take a look. One last time here. Look at how many keys these people have done. People have done a 21 on Mistweaver. You know what I mean? Like, what? what's the difference here? It's actually got more keys higher than the Shaman, and they're two whole tiers lower. I don't understand what this is coming. It doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. One of ten, great game, highly recommended. Yeah, IGN reviews, yeah. Very buggy mess, 9.5 out of 10. It's like, what the fuck is the point of ranking it if you're not even gonna give it a... Like, if you're just ranking, like, one out of 10, then just do one out of 10. You don't need to do 9.5. That's not, this shouldn't ever be a number. Do you play on Tychondris? I saw a blood DK with your name at the community feast. Is that the name of his DK? I don't think it is. That's because companies I guess pay IGM for good scores. Yeah, I think you're right at the end of the day. Completely uh, irrelevant. Or completely, uh, too, it's just too biased. That's me, and yeah, alts are brutal. Oh yeah. I just meant like, I thought it was gonna be funny and we we're gonna see lots of like funny bad plays, but we never saw it, it was like a joke. This, this whole day has been just a joke. Zero difficulty to any of the dungeons, and uh, outside of me playing poorly, I haven't really seen anything yet. The only thing I saw was this last dungeon, the guy had like a fucking horrible route, but other than that. Still upgraded the key, so at the end of the day, what does it matter? Can you explain the mechanics of this dungeon? Uh, not really, no, sir. If you have any specific questions, I'll happily answer them. There's so much lenience in the key level. Yeah, exactly right, yep. Kind of doesn't really work if you're just going to kite around in circles the whole time. <laughs> if you can't really survive the pull, then definitely don't do it and waste lust on it. But it's dead. The hallway fight with the lightning, this one. Yeah, you just look for where the drakes come and don't stand where they are. You'll see it here in a second. Two, like, each like little segment of the room fills up and you just gotta figure out which one is first. You need multiple full weeps to even come close to running out of time. I don't know about that, but 
See, there's the first one in the middle. So that's one. That one's gonna come, and then obviously that won't won't be like it won't happen again. So now we just move into this one, and we're good for the rest of the fight. And the last key you said the tank took a five stack hit from the second boss fight. Can you explain how to avoid that? Did I? I'm not sure what that means, sorry. Oh, you're talking about, uh, yeah, I need to make a video on that, honestly. Basically, you need to keep the mobs together, and there's a puddle on the ground that indicates where the one mob is going to jump. And uh, you need to be there before she lands, basically. If you're there before she lands, she won't, uh, you, you won't, like, they won't move far enough apart. They, they'll get the stacks. It's partially because the boss, like, the, the, the other guy, the guy does, like, really a bunch of mechanics that stop him from moving. So you need to get him in position before he starts doing those things a lot of the times. Otherwise, you just don't have any actual, like, he just stops and then he just keeps getting stacks while he stopped. Guess we need to res. Largely depends. I've almost depleted a few 12 13s. Yeah, it's just hard to understand how that would be possible because every single key we've had has been. I mean, it's just that they're just a joke. Like, I don't even know what would be hard about any of them. Do you plan on playing a DPS in the future? No. Won't ever play DPS, really. We'd have to have very, uh, we'd have to have exhausted every other possible thing in the game. Uh, they are a joke, but some people have no idea what they're doing. And that's what I'm saying, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like it matters. We just had a tank who had absolutely no plan to do Naka Hood's route, and we still upgraded the key. Like, it, that was really bad. That would have, <laughs> that would have disbanded a lot of higher keys. That was real, that was definitely the worst thing we've seen so far today. And that was a 12 even, so people are talking about failing like 10s and below, it's like, oh what? I remember you played Frosty K? Yeah. I remember. To be fair, at that key level, healers often do zero damage too. Would you have time without your damage overall? My damage is horrible. This character does no fucking damage. This is the big problem with Holy Pally right now, is they're really mana hungry and they do very little damage, so... I think we would have, yeah. Trying to do higher keys as a tank, do you even bother with clearing thundering? Nah, you gotta just let the DPS do it. If you're gonna bother with it, that's gonna mean you're running around chasing players and that's gonna be a huge DPS loss and potentially a death for you. So you don't wanna bother with it. Now that's easier said than done, especially as non-blood DK, but at least as blood DK, you can just AMS if you realize it's not about to get cleared, so then you won't die. I was mostly spamming Academy and Vault for gear, so you can probably guess uh, where some of those keys were depleting. On the bosses, I guess. Uh, yeah, we did Algathar before, and it was very easy. I was shocked. Interesting pull here. It's kind of bad timing though. We got here at a really strange timing. Oh, I just fucking land hands him. God damn it, I meant to land hands me. Beware. Interrupt the spell. Beware. 
Okay, I do need a drink. Must drink here. Yeah, we took so long to kill the previous pack that he did a full rotation of his bat as well. We've gotten really good at- I'm gonna die here, yep. Right through that. Anyway, I've gotten really good at vaults. The amount of disbands I've been in there. Oh yeah, you got a lot of practice with it, you mean? <laughs> well, that's good. Actually died to the thundering stun. That's rare. Don't see that very often. I really wish I could mount up. This dungeon is really famous for this too. All these years later, we still can't mount at the start of this dungeon. There we go. Will I make it? I think no. Yeah, no. So now we gotta wait even further. Just slash shroud it. <laughs> That's funny. Marked by lightning. Wait, look at this warlock's name, I just realized. Dan, oh thanks. Thanks for becoming a member, my friend. Umbilicus as well, very nice, very generous. Very generous of you. Tank videos helped a lot. Well, that's awesome, man. If you have any questions, let me know. Please do. Oh, God, is he just eating these? Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll find out how low of a key this actually is. If you can survive that, it's pretty impressive. Oh, how much longer you can four stacks uh metro what do you think is the best healer for mythic plus uh blood death knight thanks a lot man very uh much appreciated i just suck at this class it's the other thing that makes it unfun to play alts like when you know you can do something on a spec and it's hard to go to another spec where you can't do something. <clears throat> and that something is succeed. Something else is going to pull the right side. Well, it's dead. That's good.
I just get hit by one too. <laughs> What the hell is that? Is that empowered rune weapon? That blue thing above his head? Never actually used the spell. Beware. Well, that was insanely sloppy. S stands for super class. <laughs> Uh, you should get a you get a blue rune above you. Yeah, tank moves around a lot. Yeah, <laughs> seeing a little bit more of what we expected to see today in these last few keys. That shit hits hard, man. Definitely gotta dodge that. See how hard this hits. Can't be that bad on the trash, right? Golf lately? No, it's winter, sadly. I wish. I really want to, man. It's been warm, but it's just too. It's like every just rain every day, you know. So. Alright, let's see this boss a bit of a test for the healer. Gotta live in Arizona. I wish, yeah. Wish I had that kind of money. Fingers crossed the tank keeps the boss in the middle of the room. <laughs> that's not. That's not. Oh, what the hell is this? Tank in the middle strat? Nope, unfortunately not. Death Strike right though, either it's gonna make it a little bit harder. I had a tank that tanked in the middle with both beams. Yeah, we made a video on it the other day, man. That shit cracks me the fuck up. Phoenix is a huge, cool place to visit. I've heard. I'd love to go to Arizona someday. That whole like segment of the country, just not too much west. <laughs> Arizona and New uh, New Mexico and stuff, that's it. That's where the line is drawn for me. Wrong way. That's fine, I guess. That reminds me, the first hauls I do after watching your video, a tank and a 12 did the same thing. Wow, really? Oh, here we go. Double beams. Move the boss. No. No. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. No West Coast adventures? I just meant to say California, basically. Fuck California. It's facing it the wrong direction. Oh my god, man. We're gonna need bubble. I was gonna bubble that off, but now we're gonna need bubble. Taking a second one of these? We were... Oh, wait, what? No, we're not. We're taking Sanctify over here now. Okay. This is the, fu the funny thing about this fight. When you do this wrong, it starts to really fuck up the fight. It's so obvious. I don't really... Oh, what's he doing now? Oh my god, man. I really don't... This fight is very easy. I don't understand how it's so hard for tanks. We got so fucking lucky there. That is so lucky. That's funny, man. <laughs> Ended up seeing it at the end of the day. So lucky there. That was as lucky as you can get, because if that did that mechanic over there, we were going to wipe. 
He was trying. I, yeah, better than the first guy. California is a beautiful state, but I would recommend only coming to visit. I tried that and didn't work out either. I was so disappointed with my time in California, man. I thought it was going to be some something entirely different. The thing that really bothered me the most was it was like fucking 50 degrees out and people had the air conditioning on. I'm like, motherfucker, man. I came here to enjoy nice weather and you guys are this fucking worked up about... Like, it's not even fucking warm. We're driving at fucking 6 a.m. to BlizzCon and people have the air conditioning on. It's like, dude, I'm going to get sick from this. Like, this is not healthy. I don't have the fucking air conditioning on when it's not even warm out. Ah, uh, they took your last hob get a video as a guide. <laughs> the sun is super intense. Uh, it wasn't in Irvine, wherever we were. Cali isn't even worth visiting. Nothing worth seeing here that you couldn't see anywhere else. Ah, uh, there's some golf courses and stuff I think are definitely worth seeing, but... I just had this thing in my head that was so unrealistic it was never going to match up with reality, so that was my bad. I thought like the entirety of the state was this sprawling cityscape and it was all going to be like New York City, you know what I mean? And it was the complete fucking opposite. Nobody anywhere. Walking was like, you, why would you ever walk anywhere? It was like kind of sad. It was just the opposite of what I wanted. Basically wanted a New York City without all the fucking garbage on the ground and all the fucking idiots driving around. And I didn't get that. I got something different entirely, something different. Northern West Coast is definitely better than Cali, yeah. Hard to see giant redwoods elsewhere. Uh, LA sucks. Yeah, well, we weren't in LA, but I thought it was going to be more like a city, like a more cityscape. Like, we were in Irvine, and it was like, there was nobody. It, it was like a fucking ghost town. <laughs> just like no restaurants anywhere. I, I, I was, I just still can't believe all that, to be honest. I really am shocked. <clears throat> anyway. Um, do you play Blood Decay and Outheal the Healer? You play Blood Decay and Outheal the Healer. Play Healer and Outheal the Blood Decays. <laughs> Mountains and oceans are really nice. Yeah, no doubt. I just like like the idea of New York City a lot, where there's like a million people and everything. It's like, you know, you can walk anywhere. Like when I went to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh was the same way. Fucking city is like so dense that you can go like five feet and run into crazy cool shit. Same way in Baltimore when we went to Baltimore. I just thought, I, I had this thing in my head that California was going to be like sunny and gorgeous 24-7, all day, every day, and everybody was going to love it. And uh, then I also had this in my head that it was like a sprawling cityscape, like the entire state was packed. Because that's all you ever hear. Most overpopulated county in the world, like LA County, bigger than states and all this shit. It's like, where are all the fucking people at? <laughs> How did we go there for five days and I never saw another fucking person? I don't understand. What eye level is your paladin? Uh, 375. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles was a restaurant. That was the other thing. We tried to find a restaurant and it was like, oh my god, it was a mess. It was like three restaurants in the whole area. It was just so strange. It was like, I, it was like, I, I don't know. Should have went to Skid Row. <laughs> I've heard about that. Yeah. Uh, sounds a bit like Paris Syndrome. What does that mean? Where everybody goes to Paris thinking it's going to be some way and then it's the complete opposite probably. That doesn't even do damage. Well, that was my experience if that's the case. But the thing that really turned me off the most was no matter where you went, everybody had the air conditioning on and it was like... It, this was late November, so it was not warm at all there, I guess. And I was just really, it was like kind of unsettling how cold it was everywhere. I went to California thinking like, oh, this is great, man. It's like second summer. We're going to California, no problem. Fucking like 65 out and everybody has the air conditioning on 24-7. I, I wouldn't put the air conditioning on here even if it was 85, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not needed. BlizzCon was ultimately the, the worst of it, though. We joked about this, but it was basically like they were taking BlizzCon as a name, literally, because it, it it must have been like 50 in there, maybe even lower. It was fucking freezing. I've never been colder indoors before. I have family in Sacramento and love visiting. It's beautiful up in Northern Cali, getcha. I 
that's the only place I was ever at, obviously, so I don't even know what else is out there, but... Hello from Saskatoon, Canada. Welcome. Uh, how close is that to Edmonton? We gotta... Call in the expert, the Canadian expert. Do you or do you not believe Hawaiian pizza is very good and authentic to Canada? Imagine BlizzCon being warm. There were a lot of gross people there. That's what Sai said, that they do that because they don't want, like, smelly people to overwhelm it. But it's like, okay, well, if that's the case, I'm never coming here again then. If you're so worried about the hygiene of people that you're inviting to your convention, then don't have the fucking convention. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I got... I, I just, I hate being cold, I think is the thing at the end of the day, and it was the worst experience of my life, honestly. Luckily, I didn't fucking pay for it, because I'm telling you right now, if I went to BlizzCon and paid the amount of money that you're supposed to pay to go to BlizzCon, and that was the experience I got, fuck that, you know what I mean? <laughs> that would have been the worst fucking money I've ever spent. It's the only reason I'd ever visit Cali. For BlizzCon. What's up, my brother? Nice to see a little pally. Yeah, Andrew Lee Longton. Let's see how you've been. Yeah, we came out here to do some uh, exploration of other tanks, but it's not really yielded the results I expected to see. Four to five hours is uh, Edmonton. Get you. They need to buff up holy pally damage. Yeah, it's really bad. That I am trying. Like, I'm not. I'm doing. Globals that do damage. That's the one problem with them right now, for sure. I've been well. If you want to run a few keys, I'm down. I'm trying not to run with uh, uh, viewers, but it's probably not happening. I don't even know who's in which key. All right, it was nice to tick off the list, but never again. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll never go there again. It was entirely free, and somehow I still got ripped off. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I figured. And then me and Sai, we had to wait in line for... What the fuck did we even have to wait in line for? I don't even remember, but uh, we were waiting in... Oh, yeah, we were trying to get in the fucking building, I think it's what it was. And we waited in line, and we thought we had this, like, epic-ass strategy to beat the line. And this is the funniest thing. We we, we went in this, like, side entrance, and uh, we, we got in the building super early, and we were, like, super excited about this. And... We're in the building, and then we're just, like, following these signs, and it's, like, telling us where to go. And all of a sudden, we, we're, like, we're so excited. We're, like, I can't believe we got Oh, look at how great this is. I mean, you were in here. And then all of a sudden, we keep following the signs, and we just, we're back outside. It's, like, what? What happened? Like, how did we got tricked? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. So we had to wait back in line again. Pin with somebody, welcome. What a mess this is. This is terrible pull. What a fucking mess some of these pulls are. I guess we're gonna land against that guy. Oh my god, your healer is. What? Is me? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, see, now we gotta do a backward skip for this. Seventy-seven out of there. I think that's probably the right number. Actually, I don't see how it is because I don't know what we would have pulled. That we didn't really pull anything extra like I normally would there. <clears throat> so, about to find out. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Me trick at 13. Well, if you're not going to pull these up, then you definitely should do that. So I guess I'll grab one. Where are they? Uh, there's one right here. 
How long does this last? Yeah, less than a minute. Or I guess it's exactly a minute, probably. so much for that beer. See, this kind of shit is not really... This is, like, really bad. This is, like... This is what makes tanking hard, this whole back to this conversation now. This guy's like pretty much taking the key from being like very doable to being much, much harder now because he didn't plan out any routing at all. Really only a couple dungeons that even need it too, which is even more disappointing. Tell you what. Fighting it though with super speed is kind of funny. Zipping around. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's not as... It's close. Knocking on that door of absurdity. Throughout your tribe, you have demonstrated strength, skill, and intellect. Traits shared by your cries of anguish will echo through eternity. Looks like we did that wrong. The guy thinks he was out of range, but it just it, it doesn't last long enough. That's why this is hard. That's why this is dumb, a waste of time. Just pull the mobs up to it and fight the four of them or the three of them that way instead. Pretty much have to get it the second you come up here and then go and do it. it. Takes like 30 seconds to get from the downstairs to the top. To level up with missions or dungeons? Or missions. I did dungeons, it was alright, if you can tolerate it, but I don't really enjoy it, it's very boring. It was fun as a healer, but that was it. I could never tank dungeons while leveling, that would be horrible. I guess you mean quests, yeah. Yeah, so I, would def I would just do world content to level, it's way more fun. It's the fastest, like, leveling experience we've ever had from a dungeon 2, or from a expansion 2, so... <sighs> I'm Priest Healer. Well, I mean, only you can answer that, so... What year did you go to BlizzCon? Uh, the year they announced Diablo Immortal. What year was that? Worst fucking thing. I mean, it really couldn't have gone worse, to be honest.
Cobalt assembly, you can level in like two hours. You can level ten times in two hours. What, the fuck? By what a year to go. Huh? Yeah, well, dude, it doesn't even matter. Like, literally, no matter what they announced, it was going to be a bad experience. If you guys have never gone to BlizzCon, it is, it's bad. It's really, 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 really bad. They have a terrible, terrible setup. It probably used to be better at one point, dude. But now they have like five things all happening at once and the stages are so fucking far away from each other that you cannot, you, you can only see one thing at a time. Like there's no chance like to get from one stage to the next and uh, actually get a seat and be able to watch it. It's not possible. It's like really, really, really fucked. We had to go from one side of the building to the other and it took us like 20 minutes. It's a massive fucking building and there's only 15 minutes in between each panel. So if there's two panels happening back to back that you want to see on other stages, you're fucked. It, 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 it honestly was the worst experience I've ever had. I've never had any type of in-person event be worse than that, never. And the fucking, yeah, it was like a 40 minute queue to go to the bathroom. It's like, okay. This is the biggest waste of fucking money ever. No. This expansion is so has been so good so far. I want to go this year. Don't go, dude. Just watch it on TV. Like, honestly, dude, if I ever got asked to come out again, I would just stay in the hotel room and watch it. It would be so much better to watch it in the hotel room and then just go to the parties afterwards or something like that if you want to. The hotel price gouging has gotten ridiculous. Yeah, we stayed really, we stayed in Irvine and then got an Uber over to Anaheim. Easy timed, if not healers foul. What does that mean? Yeah, definitely gonna take the blame for this considering the tank didn't even have a fucking route plan. My bad. Hilton is 700 a night. Is it? Well, I don't know. We didn't pay a fucking dollar for it. Uh, it used to be like 200 per night when we went nine years in a row. It has gotten really expensive. Oh, man. Yeah, that's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth that kind of money. Wait, what the fuck? Who even has that right now? That's funny. I'm not really like, you know, I, I feel the same way about sporting events too. Like, if the Yankees were playing a crucial game, would I want to go see them live? Nah, not really, to be honest. I, I would, you know, it depends, but probably not. I'd rather just watch it from home because I want to see it, you know what I mean? And you can't really see it very well in the stadium, but at least in that case, you're trading the atmosphere for being able to see it. So... What am I missing there? Anyway, it's just not really for me. <coughs> so many good uh, things to see in the world, and that wasn't one of them. I like good RNG. Uh, uh, I like good NG to watch sports. 
Gotcha. Alright, so which way are we going here? Let's see. Does a lot of damage, huh? Very damaging. Okay, the trick here is be in the middle of the room. You don't actually have to heal anybody there, you just need to make sure that they don't die. So if you can use Aura Mastery there, that's plenty. It's a pretty tough part to heal though. Okay, we did it. But oh, that is our first key that just wasn't in time. You are truly remarkable creatures, as promised. You will have your just reward. No loot again. All right, let's see. We'll do one more, I think. Court 12. Been pretty boring, honestly. Didn't get what we were looking for today, but... uh. We'll do one more today and that'll be that. Yeah, I was hoping to uh, just, yeah, like the only reason I did it, as I explained, was because people were telling me that there was like crazy wild shit happening in pugs and that I should go out there and see it. But it doesn't seem to be true, so. Unsure. Alright, one more. Court 12. And then we'll be back tomorrow with some, some DK and hopefully. Hopefully, a good week. I think honestly, next week, I think it's probably going to be a good week, to be honest. It does look like a good one. Why Vecrapo still crying to whisper? What are you talking about, dude? What the fuck are you even saying? I have no idea what you're even saying, dude. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Two more DPS and then... Just need a tank then. Rogue seems to be doing good DPS this expansion. Yes, they are very good. They are definitely uh, one of the most consistent damage dealers right now. He's talking about me not knowing you didn't want to bring viewers. I don't think that's what he's talking about, dude, so don't worry about it. All right, here comes the court. Voltac, would somebody welcome?
All right, this will be the last one on alts for a while. Then this wasn't really, wasn't really anything. But oh, we did get some gear on the character, which I don't mind. Definitely would like to uh, get some gear for this character and play it at some point, but not right now. Even healing was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But again, we only did a thirteen as the highest key, so. Uh, Tycho stuff, what's up, big? Have you noticed Minion of Dao in Temple of Jade Serpent doing its Tank Buster twice in a row? No, I haven't really noticed that, but... I'm not really... You're talking about the Dark uh, Claw or whatever? That would make sense, why that's so difficult, then. Is that what you're even talking about? I'm not even sure what that is. Minion of Dao. Took 2x, 270k hits, Dark Claw. That's interesting. I haven't noticed that. That makes sense, though, because that ability hits way harder than... Uh... This guy's trolling or what? I've died to that a few times this week. It's a lot of damage. It's not surprising that you died to it. If you saw the temples from this week, it's pretty wild how bad it was. Luckily, as blood decay, you know, it's not too bad, but... Um, Prop Pally, it's more than my health. Explains why the last pack with three of them is so insane. Yeah, that's a lot, man. <laughs> this feels a little bit more like what we expected. <laughs> this guy has like no idea what he's talking about, trying to tell me how to do the dungeon. Rogue is nuts, man. Dude, overall 145k. What the fuck? That's insane. I've never seen anybody well over 100k like that. What dungeon was that? Lower Kara? <laughs> That's insane. I've never seen that. Had to be Algothar, right? Uh, I've seen 250k bursts down to 140k in Algathar Birds and Tree Boss. Yeah, that, that dungeon's got a lot of volume to it. Uh, healed an 11 Jade, had a Warlock stand in the Shaw Breath five times in a row, and blame me for not healing. Can't heal through stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. 
You saw the guy hit a 550k. That's wild. See, I don't even understand it, though. Because the top damage is just a thing that spreads the damage to other targets, right? Like, I don't really understand that. You would think that if they were that good, it would be clearly defined more. But it's like, it's just... Blade Flurry is just spreading their damage to everything else. I don't really get it. Usually when something's like super overpowered, it's like uh, there's just that one thing being tuned that needs to happen and that's it. But how do you get tuned Blade Flurry? I'm 375, but I haven't gotten past 9 yet. So seeing Metro at 12 tells me I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, you definitely want to be above 10, man. We were talking about this a bunch today, but just anything below 10 is just a pretty much a complete waste of your time. They're so fucking easy. And yeah, the loot that you get from those lower keys is not even worth getting. A lot of it's just like it's not even better than the world content. This is your best chance to eliminate the Grand Magistrates. Good luck. I have a funny clip from Ruby Life Pulls 15 where my group just got annihilated over and over again on the second boss by a boulder. Oh, really? <laughs> sounds funny. You have it. You ever recorded? That sounds pretty funny to be honest. What was what causing it? The boulder was just hitting people or was it breaking? Because we had this the other day where the boulder like hit some terrain thing and busted, I guess. It was a bug or something. Not really sure, to be honest. I did some tens with my bloody K at 340. Wow, 340. What the hell? Yeah, I think that'll be the next time we play all. So I'm just gonna level that Death Knight at some point. I might even just make a new one and make a human because I do want to try a human out. Next all will be another Death Knight, I think. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll play a little bit of Prop Alley. I wouldn't mind playing some Prop Alley. I did 12 as your earlier with what turned out to be a 345 bloody K. Oh, yeah. Uh, no bear? Yeah, no, no, definitely no bear. Not really interested in bear at all right now. I would definitely like to see some prop pally. Yeah, I could see that happening at some point. Did you forget at some point that you are the healer, not the tank? No, I didn't forget. Why would I forget? Missed 15 by two seconds. Sorry to hear that. Two seconds. That's rough. This is okay. This is a little bit more like what we expected. Maybe we could fit another one in here now. Let me pull, please. Well, you're gonna have to pull. So if you want to pull, you can. But you can't stand still for fucking 30 seconds. Sometimes when I play tank and switch to healer, I start pulling and leading. That's pretty much what this is feeling like. bit closer to what I expected.
No, that was that was very enjoyable. That phase was me having a fun for the first time today. That was what we were waiting for all day here. We finally got it. But it didn't even cause any issues. The keys are just too easy, man. I just don't understand. Uh, now that I've had this experience, I'm really going to have some very heavy skepticism for all these people who are saying they're struggling in these low keys. The Sundering coming at 12? Yes, definitely. Oh, wait, 12. You said 10, but yeah. 10 is the lowest it's there for. Oh, wait. What happened here? See, like, this is not okay. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, this is the experience I expected to get. Let's put it that way. Complaining about people pulling for him when he's just standing still for 30 seconds at a time. Vehicles were new in Wrath? Or were there some in BC? Yes. TBC uh, did not have vehicles. That was Wrath. Getting hit by fucking stuns and frontals and shit. Oh my god, we're pulling the trash. Holy fuck. Okay, this is it. We got it, guys. We're ready. Stay tuned. We got more to come, hopefully. We're back. Holy fuck. It was a rat thing as well. It was only a rat thing. It was nothing in TBC. Vehicles were added first in wrath. It seemed like what they originally wanted to do was make flying, like, actual mounted combat, and then they... For some reason realized they couldn't and then they made vehicles instead. <clears throat> okay, he's gonna get it. He's he's stealth, no worries. He's gonna get that one. And he have Mammut. <laughs> All right, we did it. We found it. Only took three and a half hours and like six keys, but we did it. We did it. <laughs> did we even get all three? No, we still haven't gotten that one. What? That one just got opened by the sentry. What actually happens? I don't think I've ever seen that happen. I really don't know what even happens. Does that mean an ad is definitely spawning? This run needs to be clipped. <laughs> nah, it's not really that good, but it's definitely a lot better. A lot closer to what I expected to get here. Oh yeah, we can also freedom this. I need to do that. Alright, let's see. I don't even know what happens. Uh, nothing, I guess. This is how you know viewers. That's what I'm saying. This is probably the first one without viewers, actually. Oh, no, there's a mob. Oh, he's come all the way from back where the thing was, I guess, is why it took so long. That guy doesn't know you need to jump, so he's just got... Just needs to be dispelled. Yeah, he's dead. See you later. <laughs> this is actually... Yeah, this is it. We found it. Took us a little longer than I thought it was going to. 
<laughs> Holy fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Wait, do we even have an alchemist? Yeah, we do. This is how this boss goes for me usually. <laughs> People are just getting like hit by everything. I haven't played much Court of Stars, but do you have to disable those pillars? You don't have to, but if you... There's five of them and five adds will spawn if you disable none of them. And that's really fucking bad because they put a debuff on you that makes it a lot harder to do the fight effectively. So you usually end up having like one. It's like not uncommon to fight one, but more than one, it's really bad. <laughs> With settings on low, you can't see the AOE frontal thing at all. Oh yeah, that's it's a bit of an issue with this game. I don't really understand that. Like they really need to fix that. There cannot be a setting where you can't see the difficult mechanics. Like, that's not okay. <laughs> that's not a feature of this game. That should not be in the game. With just one ad, you can CC it and simply ignore it. That's true, but that's unlikely to happen. You have to be very quick to handle that. If I forget to turn them up, I just get clapped super hard. Yeah. It's usually projected textures in the past. Is that not what it is now? You used to be able to just play on everything on low, but if you had protect projected textures on, you'd still be able to see everything. Watch out up here. I've heard tell of a demonic it's particles now. Yeah, I've heard a bunch of people talk about that, yeah. Core visual tells for mechanics are really bad. They are definitely the worst dungeon right now for that, yeah. Oh, you can't blind that to stop that? What the hell? I just used blind and it didn't stop the ice storm. That's surprising. Did I miss or something? I don't understand. Well, the first bear we had was like fucking god tier damage taken wise. And now this guy's like, looks like he's made of fucking glass. Only thing I know is part of projected textures is the snowflakes from Mage's Blizzard. <laughs> You know, it used to be any circle mechanic, like that type of mechanic. If you had, uh, like with these types of mechanics, if you had no projected textures, you wouldn't see them. All you would see is a small blue, basically whatever, like the underbelly of the mechanic was. Like a blue, a, a small blue circle or something like that. This is a really bad pull here. I'm gonna have some trouble. The dead look on your face that this was happening. I mean, it's so obvious, right? Like, you can't not pull those imps. I don't understand what these guys are doing. It wasn't a good enough, it wasn't a good enough boomy to get that bear form last expansion. I wasn't a good enough. Hoping to try again when Mage Tower comes back. Yeah, hopefully they won't like remove it again or something. I do worry that it might just not come back. <clears throat> It's very easy rotation, so I'm not sure what his struggle is. I barely took damage in the academy run. Oh yeah, you were the tank druid, right? Yeah, yeah it's like... Uh, I don't really know what its trick is, but I've seen this in like good players as well. Like Sometimes they just get slaughtered, I don't really know why.
Make yourself useful and take a look around. Uh, are you going to level professions on more than one character? I originally was going to, but I just don't really feel like it's... It's just too much money, man. Everything costs so much fucking money, this expansion. It's like four keybinds. I don't know. Also looks like you're going for 200% count. <laughs> yeah, this guy's... This is more of what I expected. I should have... Uh, I should have been scouting for people under 1,000 score. I think it was probably the big mistake I made as well. Because that means they've only played like this week, basically. I spent 100k on tailoring. Yeah, it's just so much money. Pure money, no investment. What does that mean? Even on EOF, my alts is herbing and mining. Oh, I see. I was worth though. I was the only one with new bags on the server for three weeks. Gotcha. Are you really gonna try to skip this pack, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? The fuck is this like level two key shit, dude? Just pull the fucking mobs. Now I'm just being undercut. Oh damn. the blind up that's pretty much all we need one good blind and that's it who can even get this I don't even know I know I can get it on my death knight for some reason not sure who can get it uh where are we fighting this guy beware Anik. I thought I could make money from bags on my tailor I get undercut immediately. There's just not enough need for bags in this game. You only need a few ever, and that's it, you know? It's one of those things that are great in, like, Classic or something like that when nobody has any bags ever, but you don't buy enough bags in this game. Raw mats is where it's at if you really want to make gold. Yeah, that's pretty much just what I've ended up done. I sell like five one day and zero for the next two days. Oh, yeah. oh impending doom. I forgot about this mechanic. It's actually like kind of dangerous, right? Not even sure. It just does AOE damage. Sure, to be honest. Doesn't seem like it does much. What is this guy pinging? Oh, yeah, Monk can do that one. Are we gonna keep doing the dungeon though, or are we just gonna wait now? Wow, we're going to actually just like straight up not upgrade this key. That's crazy. Marked by lightning. This was it. We found it. It took us the whole day, but we got it. What's your experience in lower keys? Other than this one, it's a complete romp. Like, it's not even fun how easy they are. And even when you make mistakes, they, they don't fucking matter. 
But we're there now. We managed to get. We finally got what we were looking for all day. Ask Tank to do another after the for guaranteed hilarity. That would be kind of funny. Maybe we could still upgrade it. What is this? This is a. a, a okay, you're gonna get the mobs, or are you just gonna let me die of it? That's a cooking thing, I think. You can get that. I don't even know who can get that. I'd love to see him in Azure Vault set. See him in Naka Hood. Professions are such a big investment. I'm still living off a couple heroic BOEs from Shadowlands Season 1. Not really. What the guy, Onk? That one you just grabbed is stamina? No, I know, I just don't know how you grab it. I don't know which one. Like what classes can get some of these because I've only really ever played Death Knight. That one's cooking. See, I don't even think I have cooking on this character. That's what confused me. I guess I do have it. Yeah, okay, I picked it up. Okay, he released. Be released. Okay, we'll see you soon. Who needs henchmen? I'll burn you. The elements answer to me. I have no idea what does it for me, but I have something that pops up and tells me X is usable. Yeah, I've seen that some kind of add-on. People keep having that. I don't know what that is. Big wigs, low wigs, whatever. Guy's just standing out there on his own. <laughs> Too many suppressed one shots. <laughs> yep. Holy fuck, that ring. What the fuck? Uh, that's the opposite of what you want to do. <laughs> this is it, guys. We found it. It took the whole day, but we managed to get it. He's gonna take the res and die immediately, watch. He seems to know better. The elements answer to me. It will amuse me to watch you melt. Beware. This guy is like the most tilted 1300 player I've ever seen. Like, what is going on? Man? Mortal flash, so pretty when it burns. It's probably easier with two people. That's awesome, though. Glorious. Tank just keeping boss in the bad. No, well, no, that's how you're supposed to tank it. He didn't do anything wrong there. It's the other players. The balance druid was just fucking AFK. Oh yeah, this is herbalism here. The balance druid was just standing out there on his own, so he kept spawning mobs in bad places, and the shaman ran through the fire. I love how the battle res expired in the shaman. Yeah, I just never took it. <laughs> this is it, right? We found it. It took the whole day. 
Speaking with chatty nobles may reveal your spy. Just avoid drawing attention. The whole day, but we got it. There's not even one down here. Wait 45 seconds to pull packs wrongly. <laughs> they puts like a little face, like, oh. <laughs> oh, this is funny. As someone who is just now leveling, it makes me happy to hear that low keys aren't bad. Now nah, they're way easier than people made them sound. And gear is like not even a fucking thing either. I'm, I guess this character isn't that undergeared, but I don't even have a fucking intellect trinket on. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Somebody had a bad day. It's funny. I've never seen somebody like so unaccomplished, so tilted at something. This guy's highest key is a 10. And <laughs> he's complaining about this group. <laughs> it's like, holy fucking shit, dude. This is exactly what people have been talking about, this kind of player. We don't even have all five of the things revealed yet, dude. <laughs> 375 is fine. Eh, I guess so, yeah. I'm bad at this Among Us. I was higher than that before the season even launched and my death knight is the thing. What is the one we still don't have? Look at the pit. They're just like grabbing the wrong one over and over again. We don't have all five things. Why are you, what are you doing? Oh my god. This is actually great. Okay, we have them all now. Gloves, dark vest, mail, short sleeves, no potions. Nobody down here. You either get a smooth run pug or a smooth brain pug. <laughs> well, we had like bad mistakes in the previous dungeon. They just didn't matter. I've gotten that ring three times as a mage. No idea why it's in my pool. Windwalker wants to leave so bad. He probably wants the auto attack ring even more. Maybe that ring isn't very good to be honest. Okay. This guy, I think it is. The fact that Pally Transmog still works is so silly. Yeah, I should have did that. Wait, can we do that? <clears throat> Wait, isn't that what it's called? Truth Guard? It just has to be one of these, or does it have to be the one? Oh, they did it already. Fuck. I, I literally didn't think it was going to get solved until I got that transmog. Any truth card show would work. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, it tells you what group it's in now. You know, you could actually uh, position your character to tell exactly which one it is, too. Don't stand too close to the group, otherwise then you'll be have a lot harder to trouble the tent. But usually there's like three or four of them in a, like a little bit of a shape, you know what I mean? And so you'll be, if you manipulate your character properly, you'll be able to tell exactly which one of it is. I did this a bunch in, in actual Legion. It was easier than it sounds, too. <laughs> And plus, usually you don't even need to do that because it's like, okay, it's in this group. Well, there's only one actual male guy in this group, so it's obviously that guy, you know, something like that. So soon, Grand Magistrix. Do you expect me to waste time chattering with vapid nobles even as my enemies close in? Look there, you fool. We are not alone. 
Impossible. My guards would never permit such an intrusion. Yet another failure, Melandros. Consider this your chance to correct it. Dispose of these outsiders. I must return to the Nighthold. I thought Pallies could see the right one. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah, you need the Truth Guard transmog. The shield allows you to see the right one. It's part of the like, special effect on the shield, but for some reason, just the transmog alone works. I don't really know why that would be the case, but that's how it works. So I wonder if people knew that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because you always had the shield on in Legion, so there was no way to ever test it. But it's probably it was probably true in a time walking version of this too, huh? I bet people probably knew that the whole time. I just never really did them. I just keeps getting hit by that. <laughs> If you blink, you bleed. Death Beware. by a thousand cuts. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Bleed that mechanic is dangerous on higher keys, I bet. Beware. Crazy that it's still only three minutes over. That's what I'm saying. That's how easy this shit is. It's like really... Honestly, couldn't have gone worse. We were like fucking 15% over count as well. Bleed for the Grand Magistrates. Beware. If you blink, you bleed. The elements answer to win slices to the bone. Yeah, if we just weren't over count, we probably still would have upgraded that. How easy these keys are. Oh, I got the chest. That sucks. Surprised no one got hit by the line attack. The druid, uh, the, you got it by the ton. Well, that was a funny one. So let's do one more. What's the key? Well, let's see what the key is first. Knock a hood. Okay, that's a good one to finish on. That was probably the best we're going to get right there, but that was, it was worth it. Let's do one more. It's not as common as you would think. But we did get a uh, 13 done, right? So we'll get a decent piece of loot, I suppose. I like the idea to invite low. Yeah, we're not inviting anybody over like 1,100 or something like that now. I didn't really even think about what the score meant. I was like, oh man, he's not even 2K? That guy's shit. But it's like, wait, no, that's, that's actually like... 1.5k, that's like not bad at all. There we go, look at this. 700, we go. Eight hundred? I'm with stupid, he's talking about his pet. Holy shit, we're going, boys. Over-enthusiastic people are always funny, too. They're surprised they got invited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Something about low core stars keys. You turn around and the group is aggroed both Sentinels, Docs, and the boss, and you didn't even cross the first bridge. <laughs> I've never had that happen, but... You see, it's... No, no. What do you... How... Guys, come on, man. Don't you want to see more funny shit? We just we just went over this. Dear Hunter is going to be the worst offender, followed by Hunter. <laughs> Boy, what's up, buddy? Uh, the Warlock is common collected. He'll be the VIP. Oh, shit. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. We'll see.
Penn State game on soon, though. We definitely want to watch that tonight. MVP? Yeah, that's the same. Same thing, really. USC uh, against Tulane, so that's... Tulane actually would have made the playoffs if they were expanded to the 12-team system that they have. Wow, LSU is destroying Purdue. What the fuck? And then Penn State and Utah is tonight at 5. Bach will get globaled by the double charge bleed and type WTF within 30 seconds. <laughs> that's a very specific... Very specific prediction you made. All right, that's the fucking guy right there, man. That is it. That is it. That's our fella. Perfect. Double DH, bro. We good. We all set. This is good. This is going to be a good one. I can already tell. I should have I should have paid more attention to who we were inviting. I was inviting two skilled players earlier, I think. Terrible decisions on my part. It's my bad, guys. I really do apologize for that. You guys tuned in to see hilarity, and I just didn't offer today. That's my bad. My pizza just got here too, sweet man. Too late, you unsubbed already? Fuck. This will be the smoothest run of the day. If it is, then that proves everything. Like, all this conversation right and wrong, I guess. Right and wrong at the same time. Hey, LRI, welcome. The day has been interesting, I guess, yeah. Not as funny as I hoped it was going to be, but it's pretty good. What talents are you running? Uh, you can see them on the left here. I'll show them though. It's a little bit harder to see over there. Take a look. Do not look for me to. Do not look to me for advice because I don't know what I'm doing. I welcome Onara's rage. When the winds are still, I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, Shikar, and Onir clans must rally to free her and defeat Balakar Khan. Do what must be done to prepare them. Our combined forces will meet outside Nokodun Hold. I will await you there. Time grows short. Ride the wind. Okay, here we go. Last one. Probably for a long time on non-tank, I'd imagine. I don't know when we'll do this again. We'll see. It was it was all right. It couldn't have been. It was all right, right? Uh, you probably have been asked a lot, but I just joined. How are you finding Holy? I, I quite like it to be honest. It's definitely a lot of fun. Holy Pally is definitely the healer. I gravitate gravitate towards the most. Why are so many icons blue? I changed them. Yeah, I like the way it looks. I changed a lot of the icons on Paladin. It was because I wanted to be like Kyrian themed, like Kyrian aesthetic back in Shadowlands and. Obviously, You're we just here. kept it that way. So where are we going? Right to this boss still? Rage. When the winds are still, I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, uh, when are you going to tank LFR for kicks and, kicks and giggles? Uh, that wouldn't really be... There would be a lot more kicks than giggles, I think. We're landing here. I think I, I think one of the big issues is I'm interrupting. I should probably stop. Everybody keeps saying how nobody interrupts, so that's probably a big part of the problem. Okay, we're getting fucking decimated by this group. Really sure what's happening here, though, to be honest. Just bare minimum. Yeah, just I shouldn't even DPS actually. What the fuck is what's wrong with me? Oh, I'm just getting hit by this frontal. That's what's going on. It's 
BM damage be carrying? 15k? That's not very good, dude. <laughs> you haven't done a lot of keys, I guess, recently. Maybe you're playing Wrath. This guy's like made of fucking not even paper. Paper stronger, I think. Darn lock died, but didn't type WTF. <laughs> yeah, you were close. Or was that even you? Was that somebody was close. Oh my god, we just go right into this pack. Okay. Honestly, he's probably lost here. What is that? This lock has like a hunter's mark on him or something? What is that? It's pretty cool that people play with their kids and parents. Oh. Uh, popping in for a few as I love your content stream. Daughter and I are gaming together today. Sweet. Well, that's awesome. Have fun. I'll just sign up for some keys here because we're getting too many skilled players up in there right now. Okay. That was actually like, I don't even know what went wrong there to be honest. That's just hard. I was laying in the back and pulled that big pat. Uh, it running into is the number one way this goes badly. Yes, totally agree. That's why I also like coming from uh, the other side for this uh, part here as well, because then you can just pull this pack no matter where it is. When you come from the top like that, it's hard to actually get the pat at your leisure. What is even happening? They're just dying. I think that, yeah, the other problem we had today was like we invited like really geared players as well compared to what we probably should be after these keys. So that also, uh, this is going to be a little bit more realistic now for what the group has gear-wise. Most people are like the same gear as I am now for this group. Such a shameful display. You are better off dead. Both the war spears target the farthest mob and charge. Always happens to me with a demo lock AFK casting. Oh yeah. What does 11 drop? 390? Uh, maybe. I don't actually know. Yeah, maybe. 390 sounds like it might be right. The elements answer to me. Three eighty nine is ten to eleven, is it? Three ninety two even? Well we'll find out at the end here. <clears throat> ten through thirteen is all one item level, really? Huh. Surprised by that. That's actually, yeah, that's kind of shitty, actually. I didn't think about that. Four oh two is what? Fourteen or fifteen? Yeah, fourteen's got to be the next number then. Well, four oh two is definitely not fourteen though, if that's the case. Four oh two must come from twenty, right? Or uh, I actually have no idea. <laughs> the item levels are not like even something I really pay attention to. 14 is 395. 14 definitely comes after 13. Does it? Oh, you mean like in numerical order? Beware. 402 is 17 and 18, okay. And then what, 405 is 20, right? Let's fly! Let's fly! Okay. We going? What are we doing? What's with all these fucking people who just stand still uh, pack after pack? I heard the debate had to hear both sides. 14 after 13 always? I don't think always, no. 
Can you like heal me? Uh, no, you're playing a vengeance demon hunter. What the fuck? It's supposed to be a selfie old tank, bro. According to Google, it goes 12, 13, 14, then 15. Huh. How about that part? Wait, that was the tank who asked that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna say, because I've not really been healing the DPS very well either. What level did we do this on earlier? Oh my god, that's terrible. I always don't move far enough from that. Dang Green equals best healer. <laughs> I wonder why they let the Ballista have here reset the boss abilities timer. Well, they don't want it to be like a complete wipe if you accidentally use it too early, right? How would you even do the fight? If somebody used it too early, that would be the a wipe, right? Like They have to do it like that. They should have just made it not start until he actually starts to channel and just make the channel longer, but I think they probably wouldn't do that because then the boss would melee way less. I don't think it seems like a bug at all now. That's, it's just weird how they timed it out. I think you gotta just think through why they did that part more than anything. Oh my god, dude, I keep fucking getting hit by that. I'm so bad at That's like the mechanic I'm the worst at. Moving out of that mechanic is the thing I do the, the worst consistently. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, he said dude. Hank Tilted. This is the, the 1K score guy. His highest key is a 6. Who's he mad at now? Oh, it's the other guy mad at him now. Yeah, this is more like it. We finally found it. I just said finding the wrong people. Oh my god, he left! He left! Ah! That's hilarious. That's almost kind of sad. Bad's being mad at each other. Well, this is the funniest thing, right? Like, we got two dudes. The dude's highest score was key was a fucking six, bro. Like, come the fuck on, dude. You just left a fucking key that was going to give you probably 300 points. Yeah, we're gonna do one more. Fuck it. We need part two. We need that redemption, dude. I'm doing it one more time. Two demon hunters arguing is like that YouTube video where there's two Chinese restaurants <laughs> off for <first> call. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That sounds hilarious. That sounds hilarious. We used to see people do that with scammers. They would have scammers call each other. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely only sub 1K. That's it. Nobody comes above 1K. Can you look at the vengeance in details? Yeah, let's take a look. I want to see the healing. Is that what it's supposed to look like? I don't know anything about the spec now. Didn't seem like he was doing any fucking self-healing, so...
I can't believe he left though, dude. That shit is so fucking funny. Oh, is this guy again? Is this a viewer? Because there's definitely a possibility that there's viewers out there that aren't accomplished as well, obviously. Guy would start an order with two Chinese restaurants and put them in a conference call together. It would be five minutes of, you want fried rice, right? But you order general sao. <laughs> I think I've actually seen that, to be honest. Okay, that's the guy. Let's go. Just make this a series. Do it on Mondays. Messed up Mondays. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Now that we found it, it's like, it's not going to last for very long, I don't think. It's just because the season's like early, you know, everybody's still kind of new. Like a year from now, this won't be, this won't exist anymore. Sorry, Yoka, Yokin. Okay, that's the guy. Gallywix too. Oh, shit. We're getting a fucking treasure trove here, man. This is good. Now we just need a tank who's not going to be... Preferably this time, not a fucking three-year-old. Like, what the fuck was his even complaint? Nobody even died. I got hit by two mechanics that should have one-shot me and they didn't even come close to killing me. That's what's wrong with keys, like... Obviously, uh, it's whatever. It's a low-key. I don't give a shit. But that's what's wrong with keys in general. People leave fucking easy-ass upgrades for no fucking reason. Like, where are you going, bro? You fucking... You have no idea how to play your class, and you're telling me what to do? I wonder what class realm combo would be the worst. Probably whatever flavor of the month re-roller is on whatever the most ridiculous realm is. So that'd probably be Ragnaros... Oh, here we go. Oh, this is it, guys. Blood DK2, so this is going to be really appropriate. Their ego gets in the way. Yeah, but how do you have an ego when your best key is a 6? That's my point. Where's that ego coming from, dude? Your best key is a 6. Priest would be a good one, you think? Uh, maybe a healer? I don't think Priest is flavor of the month. No, that's when it turns into everyone knowing everything, trying to MDI strat an 8. <laughs> I've not seen that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna run the bathroom real quick too. Be right back. Nobody's even here yet. I watched a one minute video that came up in my recommended recommended last night. That was Stephen Hawking tribute or something. It was just his IRL face spinning through space. What the fuck? Dude, there's a lot of really strange videos on YouTube nowadays, man. And everybody's trying to like really twist small things into bigger things. I really don't like that, but it catches the algorithm really easily. I, I've been seeing this a lot with like sports. Uh, where it's like completely overblown like the title is so fucking wrong for what it actually is it's like man that's I just I, feel, I actually feel bad for anybody who does that it's so uh, clickbait right it's just kind of sad good you are here I welcome Onara's rage when the winds are still 
I will suspect the worst. The Tirai, Shikar, and Onir clans must rally to free her and defeat Balakar Khan. All right, this is it. Last one, one way or the other, because I definitely want to go watch the Penn State game. Prepare them. Our combined forces will meet outside. The MLB is done, <laughs> right? Yeah, like shit like that. That's not one I've seen, obviously, but I saw one the other day where, uh, what even was it? I don't even know, but it was like, I clicked that video and I was like, really, this happened? And I'm like, what the fuck? That is not even close to what happened. Not even fucking close to what happened. It's something about, uh, John Morant crossing over Zion or something. And it was like, John Morant completely destroys Zion's ankles. He gets mad afterwards or something like that. It's like, that didn't even come close to happening, dude. <laughs> Literally not even fucking in the same reality sphere. Harden wants out of Philly, right? Shit like that. Oh, that's probably even actually truer than anything. Oh, yeah. Well, that's actually funny, yeah, because he does some say some dumb shit, so... Hey Metro, uh, do you think there'll be any tuning this week? I'm hoping so, yeah. Hopefully we'll be back tonight with a video because I'm thinking tonight would be the night, but uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they're still on vacation, who knows? I don't know how that works or if even if they weren't, like even if they started working again today, which is what seems like a lot of people are doing, uh, will they be able to have enough time to get hot fixes out? Like, I don't know how that works, you know? They're probably off today. Yeah, you would think, but around here, like, schools are in session today and shit, too, so I don't know. Like, I'm not really sure how that works, you know, for a company like Blizzard, who has not only uh, requirements of theirs to be accurate, but, like, they have to be... You know, it's not like the game just shut down over the weekend, right? Like, it still <laughs> was being played, so... Somebody's working, I just don't know how many. Tech companies will take the longest, the longest pot prod freeze. Well, that's what they just can't though, right? Because the expansion is only out like a month now, so. That won't be possible, so I don't, I just don't know exactly how long they will work. And they were doing hot fixes the whole time anyway, so I'm not really sure when and where that would change. Okay, here's that crazy pack. God, I fucking love Divine Toll, man. It is such a great spell. That was the wrong guy there. How do you like healing this expansion? I uh, did not really done it enough to say, but it seems fun. Just had a death with Sanguine there, basically. Was prepared to heal the guy, but the Sanguine knocked me up. I didn't think it was going to. My guess is next change would be 17th of January or so. Yeah, hopefully not, because that's a really long time. That would be really bad. Hopefully if it's not this week, it's next week, because that would be... 17th of January would be horrible. That'd be really bad. Six weeks into the season, that'd be really bad. Why does that NPC keep saying left eye? Uh, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> That's what she's saying. I don't know. I didn't think that was what she was saying. Then I think it's something like eat pie or something. I'm anticipating changes not tomorrow, but the following Tuesday. Hopefully it'll be, if it's not tomorrow, then yeah, the following Tuesday for sure. Be Let fly. Who? James Harden. That's sadly not how contracts work, unfortunately. You know, he signed a contract, so he can't just go wherever he wants. Let those arrows fly. What, from the Indians? Yeah, maybe he'll switch to baseball, I guess. 
or whatever they're called now, the Guardians. I'd understand if they tune dungeons, but do you think classes need tuning as well? Uh, class tuning, that's a whole different conversation. I don't really have that much of an opinion on that. Dungeon tuning definitely needs to happen. There's a big issue right now. Brewmaster would like a word about what, signing contracts? Washington football team was a catchy name. Yeah, I'm sad that they changed it. Balancer Druid needs their tree we worked a bit. That's coming in the patch, so. Just waiting for that to happen. It's a Hodor situation. Let them eat pie equals let fly. I actually think you're right, to be honest. Holy fuck. I think you're right. Hodor! That almost sounds like I'm being like rude saying that, but that's. It's from a television show, guys. Okay, let's do this guy. Brewmaster signed a five year deal with the Yankees? Fuck, really? God damn it. Yankees keep making shitty ass signings that I don't want to see. Should have went for Blood Death Knight. They need to change, they need to really, they need to trade Feral Druid and Assassination Rogue and see if they can't get Demon Hunter, Havoc Demon Hunter. Much more versatile pick for them. That's what you see people all the time in New York. Why don't they trade Josh Donaldson and fucking Aaron Hicks and Aaron Boone? It's like, you know another team has to want the, the guy that they're trading, right? Like, you know how that works? Or no, you don't know. Maybe you don't know that part. Oh, we pulled this guy in? Oh my god, what a terrible idea. No one wants Blood DK. They have too many strikeouts. That's actually great. I like that. Sub Rogue overperforming. Probably going to get max contract soon. Yeah, and just like always, you know, they'll overpay and then maybe a couple seasons. He'll be, he'll be good a couple seasons. And then into that 7th, 8th, ninth season. Shit spec again, you know what I mean? You gotta you waste a ton of money at the back end of these contracts. Kind of like Alex Rodriguez when he played Rogue, you know? They just don't understand, they understand supply, not demand. <laughs> it just, that, that always cracks me up because so many people say that. This team, fucking idiots, they won't trade Aaron Hicks, they won't trade Josh Donaldson. It's like, dude, nobody wants them. What do you think's gonna happen here? <laughs> you have to fucking unload the farm system just to get anybody to take those contracts. We're fucking two 40 year olds who haven't played a full season in 10 years. Who wants those guys? I just I don't understand these people. Probably want to grip that one. And there we go. Okay, this time we will not be hit by this mechanic. Here we go. Move out. Too dangerous. We didn't lust. Okay, that's a good start. He's doing that. Destroy and dismantle. Die. This land is mine. Tremble before primal. Is BM Hunter the only spec who can lust? Now all three can lust. <laughs> Doing it? Oh my god, he's not doing it. Okay, cool. He's standing right over there, but he just didn't fucking click it. I guess I better just start handling this. You got cool pets, not the ones that can hear out. <laughs> Pet 
Pally needs to use heroism. Mm, yeah, that'd be cool, actually. Shaking my head, my head, can't you? Hope you're feeling better. Sounds like a song. Probably it for the key. Yeah, tensor type. Worthless. I will dispose of the outsiders myself. They're not giving up. I hope not. A fucking ten, and we didn't even use bloodlust. He doesn't have it. There's no way. I don't know why I'm even asking. He doesn't have it. Hunter will refuse to use ballistas. He used it the first time, and then the second time he didn't do it. Micro out here trolling tens. Oh, am I? Destro like pumping, yeah, 18k, pretty good. Just notice this is a 10. I stepped away for Chick fil A. What happened to the 11? Oh, you missed it. It was really funny. I had this like fucking demon hunter tank who thought he was like, I don't, I don't really even know how you. It's really strange. The whole thing is very strange to me. I'm not really sure how you could think you're good when your highest key is a six. It's really strange. But okay. Guess we're not gonna blow this dungeon. He's good for a six, right? Yeah. That's about it. I have to go rewatch it. <laughs> Sounds good. The storm must be quieted and the elemental within it defeated before Clan O'Neill can join the Kanu Matra. Their primalist allies have placed totems that protect this raging tempest. Find them and destroy them. It wasn't as good as the cart court court of stars because he ran away like a baby. Yeah. Similar situation, but one guy's an actual idiot and the other one isn't. Continue your work. I feel like Vengeance is one of the more skill-capped tanks in Dragonflight. You might be right, yeah. I don't know anything about the spec, to be honest, so I don't know what's going on with it. Is this guy going to fucking use Death Strike? I guess not. Bone storm, well, I can see the issue. That shattering bone, though. That's one positive. The elements answer to me. Can you get bone storm and still have the other good talents? Uh, it depends on what you consider the good talents. 
It said not good, not in my alt tank, didn't know the dungeon healer was always out of mana and didn't have any food. One DPS was lagging hard, and the other one was a demon hunter that always dashed into AoE. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for, more of that kind of thing today. Uh, hey Metro, happy new year. Do you deplete less of the healer? Mm, I have no idea. I barely play alts, so I don't know. I don't really do the same level keys, obviously, so that they can't really compare them. It's the least tanky tank by far if you have no idea what you're doing. A vengeance with nothing else has less armor than a fury warrior. Wow, really? Is that true? The elements answer to me. One more totem, quickly. Oh god. This is bad. Interrupt his fucking spells, holy shit. Uh we'll see you tomorrow. Alright, see you, buddy, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be back to normal stuff. Yeah, you get seriously punished if you're let defensives drop on Demon Hunter. Kind of like Blood DK, I suppose, in that way, yeah. The thing that, he wasn't even that squishy. He just wasn't self-healing, and I wasn't healing him because I didn't think he needed to be healed. It's like I would let a Blood DK sit low for a while, you know? I guess this guy, I don't know what's going on with this guy's healing, but... Anyway, yeah, so he's like, can you heal me? I was like, no, you're playing a Vengeance Demon Hunter, dude, heal yourself. What the fuck are you talking about? Can I heal you? Playing a fucking self heal tank that's supposed to be really fucking good right now. Let me know when that happens. The final totem crumbles. Now take down the avatar of the storm. Vengeance is weak. You need to heal a vengeance outside CDs. Oh, good. That specs just sucks then. I had no idea how bad they were. I can't believe everybody was bigging them up before the season. I don't understand. What, what was that confusion based on? That's so strange. So many people would come in and be like, Are you going to switch from blood to vengeance? It's like, what? No. And it's definitely not the level of blood decay and brew with self healing, but probably better mitigation. They definitely have better mitigation, yeah. It's mostly based off damage output. You mean the offense, yeah. Okay, I need a drink. They are third played after DK and Warrior. They are fine. We're not talking about them being played a lot. Uh, I like all the tanks. Vengeance is definitely my second favorite, but blood is always my love, yeah. Uh, they nerfed the best build for Vengeance. Oh, really? That's interesting. Like on my Evoker, I save my 10 stagger ability for when their CDs are down. Oh, yeah. I think people overvalue damage output for tanks. They certainly do. That is definitely the case. It's so strange, too, because it's so obviously not the most important thing, right? Like, I mean, how can you possibly, like, if you never took damage, then I could see that. But the fucking tank's literal job is to take damage, so. The elements answer to me.
Okay, this is really hard. I kind of wonder if Final Fantasy is something influenced it. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the higher the key, the more damage the tank's going to take, too, right? So it's like, I don't really understand where that ever comes in. Any tips for someone who has never healed in retail? I'm not the guy to ask. Sorry, I don't really normally heal. This was just a one-time thing to test something out, pretty much. What race do you think looks best for DK Horde side? Orc. Yeah, it's not even close. Orc is still my favorite Death Knight race, even though I'm Alliance. I was doing 12 Ruby Light pull last night at Monk Rage Quit because I wasn't taunting the Blazebound Firestorm on second boss. We ended up formatting it and only over time by four minutes. Taunting it? What? Doesn't even do anything, right? Not Torin? No, I don't like Torin really. Torin have like some of the worst animations in the game. Avengers has good utility, but so does blood. Turn our ancestors to their rest before they are forced to fight in Balakar's name. Is that mob even melee? No. Just cast spells all the time. Beware. I mean, maybe it melees a little bit, but it doesn't do any significant amounts of damage at all. They have four or five types of active mitigation, but they really only run into trouble if mismanaged. That's vengeance. Torn are big, but if you care about fashion, forget it. Yeah, exactly. Marked by lightning. I guess Blizzard figures they will leap away for six seconds. Yeah, that's that's how it was for Monk for a long time. Because they had like the ultimate kite potential, they kind of became Beware. balanced around that for a long time. I hope this is just a sanguine thing, because God, is this annoying having mobs constantly move like this? I don't really get, like, people t talk about this, like, this is not how you play the game, guys. <laughs> you do not want to just be kiting the entire pack just because a mob might eventually die and it'll heal a little bit. You need to move at the right times, otherwise DPS is going down, 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 down. Constantly moving out of things on the ground there, it's doing damage. Can't even drop Consecrate. Yeah, should only move when they're dying, or as they're about to die at best. I think that would be the best case scenario. Obviously, we don't want them to heal, but simply can't keep moving them over and over again like that. Probably just make my 
Death Knight Blood Elf male. Okay. Why you like having really shitty transmogs? I played male blood elf for years, man. They, they're just the worst, the worst race in the game. Not even close. Nothing that I would rather play less. Even I'd play gnome over blood elf at this point. Jesus, you killed the guy. <laughs> blood elf, like especially play, they have the they're terrible looking. Too slender. The female looks much better, transmog wise. I don't like it when Frostmage roots them while they're on Sanguine Pools. I bet not. Yeah, I'd play Volpira over Blood Elf Male at this point, 100%. Their animations are just horrendous looking. Like, they're so fucking bad. And, yeah, they really don't look like a male character at all, so it really kind of fucks you up. I'm playing a plate character. I want it to look like a plate character. Lost a lot of time because of that, I bet. Sanguine kind of sucks. It's definitely a harder fix than I think people thought it was going to be. Well, the Worgen run funny, so they're lol. Gotcha. Not a big fan of Worgen either. Why did you play Blood Elf for me years? Because it was the only option. I didn't, uh, didn't want to play female. But Forever Horde's only paladin was Blood Elf. I didn't hate it when I started playing it. It was something that grew on me over time to hate it, but... I always used to thought it was kind of weird to play a female, but I've gotten over that. Uh, the female models, as with IRL females, are much nicer to look at. <laughs> well, that's uh, obviously, you know, not necessarily the primary reason why I would play a race. But in general, oh my god. But in general, uh, the animations are a lot better on a lot of the female races compared to the male races. I'm not really sure why that is, but it seems to be very true about a lot of races. Even Torin, I really like the female Torin. I didn't realize that they were that good until recently. I don't think I've seen one Chaos Bolt from this lock. Well, he's used it, but it's not doing a lot of damage for some reason. You know, you can play that spec without using Chaos Bolt. What? Torn Rogue. Would you do it? I, I like the idea of Torn Rogue. I keep accidentally pressing the Viva. I like the idea of Torn Rogue, yeah. Undead Female gets a front flip. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? It's on a spell animation that isn't used for a ton of stuff anymore, though, sadly. It used to be Heroic Strike and uh, Sunder Armor, which were the two the major... Like, those, those were, like, some of the most used spells in the game. <laughs> they put a lot more work on the females than they did when they did the updated models, how do you think? Humans and blood dogs in general. Blood dogs. Blood elves, I guess. Human female looks great. I love the casting animations, but I always have, even back in the day. Peace at last. Protect There's just like something about this this animation right here. It's just so nice. Autocorrect is funny sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they got to keep those RP realms spicy. Get gotcha. you. 
Rogue DC? Uh, maybe, yeah. What is that weak aura with a circle? You mean on the mouse? Um, or maybe you mean thundering weak aura? Where are we going? Alright, we need tons of fucking count again, so... Uh... Oh, you don't actually die? Okay. Well, I don't know what we're doing here. Let's just see. Another guy who has no fucking route planned. Uh, the one during the fight that was alerting you? It's probably uh, the Thundering Week, or I guess. I'm not really sure which one, sorry. Male Draenei Obliteration animation is fantastic. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I've seen it. No interrupt on that? Okay. Beware. Oh, we're not going to upgrade this key going this way. It's not even enough count over here. See how bad these mobs are? I don't know how anybody could. I mean, this is really a bad pull. Two mobs and both of them have a mechanic that if you don't interrupt you fucking lose tons of time on it. Constantly make you move away from them as well. So this is currently like the worst key for low keys right now it seems because tanks have no idea what they're doing with the route. They haven't like spent any time on it. We're just gonna keep fighting two mobs over and over again at the end of the dungeon. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Best healer? Uh, uh, Blood, Death, Blood Knight. Death Knight. Thanks a lot. Beware. Edric for becoming a member. That was very nice of you to do that man. Thank you very much. A lot of generosity recently I'll tell you what. There's Pat that we were trying to skip for some reason. Orcs have ugly faces. I'll get less e-girl poon. Beware. You think that's going to be the case? No. Orcs are like super muscular, right? Like they're pretty... What would Harry say? Hench? Oh my god, and he leaves too. Wow. The fuck is his problem, man? Man, this is... I see what people are talking about, man. Like, what the fuck, dude? You just did a fucking z zero effort route in a fucking key and then you left because it's not in time. I don't like this dungeon. It's very hard. It's really not. It's actually really easy right now. Well, that's a good way to end it, I guess. It's actually kind of funny too when people say that. It's like you don't have Raider IO add on, on do you? Anyway, uh, how to make easy gold by WoW Tokens, yeah. I don't think he's capable of understanding his route is beans, yeah.
Uh, and this is why I tell my friends that Dungeon 18 are way more enjoyable. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, what the fuck? Of course. I could... This is so stupid. Why, why can they whisper me? I don't understand this. This fucking game is pathetic. Okay, anyway, that's it. Good way to end it. So thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with some real keys with hopefully people who have brains in their heads. And uh, maybe we'll get some nice score next week. I do think next week is not actually going to be that bad. It's raging. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Raging storming. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, uh, a lot of people are clueless. Just getting boosted. Yeah, that dude's like... It's kind of sad how bad people are at this game that they can't even realize. They could have done something better. All right, but anyway, thank you for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow, and uh, yeah, have a good holiday if you're still doing anything celebratory-wise, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.